nina basi ni kwa sababu gari ambalo linakuja nikapata nafasi vizuri junitelezi tunakujali pia wewe ninaomba tutafadhali kwa heshima junitelezi ninaomba tukupe nafasi wacha tu wakae huko gari likuje alafu pia hivyo hivyo tutafikia nafasi hapa nzuri alafu gari linapoingia ninaomba tutafadhali ndoa <laughs>
Okay, the family sana Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutupatia uwezo huu wakati huu katika sehemu hii ya huyu mzenge na umekubali kwa njia ambayo iliyotendeka ukamkutwa na leo kwa hapa hapa kuweza kutayarisha namna ambavyo tutampunguzisha mahali ambapo atabaki hadi siku ile utakapokuja kumchukua tena. Tunakushukuru kwa matayarisho yote ambayo yametuleta mpaka sehemu hii. Asante kwa vile umeendelea kuwa pamoja na jamii na familia yake unawashikilia. Na tunaendelea na ya kuomba uwashikilie na kuwapoza macho yao. Hasa hasa wakati wanakia hali hali nyingi ya majonzi haka nasi tunaweka ibada hii mikononi mwako asante ulitubariki na mvua usiku kucha na tunaomba ukaweza kuyashikilia hayo mawingu ili baba tukaweza kutamatisha kazi hii kwa uwepo na uwezo wako tunaweka mambo yote mikononi mwako na ratiba yote pia ni mikononi mwako na wote, wote ambao wanasafiri kwenye mkutano huu na unaomba uwashikishe salama sana mimi tutakapofikia tamati ya mkutano huu na unaona umetishia namna ambavyo umeshikilia tutakukumbusha tena kutolea ya shukrani nenda nenda nasi kwa sababu msaka sema usipenda nasi naye yeye atatoka sehemu ile na nasi tunaomba upende nasi kwa sasa tangia mwisho hapa hadi mwisho wa ibada hii na tutakapoanza na kumzishisha baba baba pia upishie na uendelee kushikilia familia hii hasa wakati ambapo wataishi bila yeye tusaomba haya katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mwokozi wetu amen Natumai sasa tutaenda katika nafasi yetu alafu kutoka pale tutaelekezwa Okay sawa so, nashukuru uh, uh, wimbo mmoja tu alafu tumkaribishe tafadhali wimbo mmoja alafu tumkaribishe MC aendeshe hiyo nafasi ambayo imebakia Jina la Yesu
Asante sana kwaya Asante sana kanisa Asante sana kila mmoja ambaye ameweza kufika Asante kwa maombi na mwongozo mwema wa msafara Nataka tuizi kwanza kwa kupeana tu mwelekeo mfupi tafadhali sehemu hii imetengewa wachungaji pamoja na kanisa sehemu hii mkono wa kushoto familia watakiti hapa na nataka kwa heshima kwa wajuku na vitukuo vya nafasi ya mbele katika ema hii ema hizi zingine zimetengewa jamii yote kwa upana na marafiki ambao wameweza kuja kuongoza pamoja na sisi ema hizi mbili upande huu wa mbele wameweza kutetea viongozi na pamoja na tetezo za ambao wamefika Itaomba maaskofu na wachungaji kutoka makanisa mengine ambao wamefika tafadhali pia waje kwa heshima waketi upande huu wa mbele tafadhali nitaomba kama tuna maaskofu na wachungaji kutoka madhehebu mengine mbalimbali ambayo yamekuja kushiriki pamoja na sisi tafadhali nitaomba wapate nafasi sehemu hii ya mbele na itakuwa ni vizuri zaidi zaidi na zaidi kwa hivyo maaskofu na wachungaji ambao wamefika tafadhali kwa heshima wapewe nafasi sehemu ya mbele waketi vyumba vya usafi viko upande wa juu upande wa kulia kuna vyumba Tafadhali nitaomba hivi kwa heshima wale ambao wanapiga picha nitaomba turuhusu tafadhali our official cameraman to take photos tafadhali wale ambao tuna mazoea kupiga picha kwa simu nitaomba kwa heshima kwamba tuwaruhusu the official cameraman to do their work so that tusikue na commotion tafadhali na waombeni kwa heshima zaidi kwa hivyo tutakuwa tunaanza utaratibu wetu rasmi na tutakapokuwa tunaendelea tutawapatia mwelekeo wale ambao watapata nafasi ya kuzungumza tafadhali nitaomba kwa heshima tuwe wafupi wa kuzungumza ili kwamba tumpatie baba tumpatie babu tumpatie rafiki tumpatie ndugu tumpatie mjomba tumpatie jirani na mfanyikazi mwenza baba Richard Chiriot Ngen tumpatie safari iliyo nzuri na kumpatia sherehe ambayo inapendeza. Kwa hivyo nitaomba kwa heshima tutakapokuja kuzungumza hapa uwe rafiki uwe jirani pia tuzingatie maneno ambayo yanatia moyo, maneno ambayo ni mazuri ambayo yanaweza kujenga familia katika mazungumzo yetu. Kwa heshima na taadhi makubwa sana. Nataka kuambia pia we are live. There is a link that will be shared for those ones who are watching us from far. We want to appreciate you for taking your time following this live streaming of the funeral of the late Richard Cheriot Ngen at Bukwet Farm in Kiminini Ward, Kiminini Subcounty in Transoya County in Kenya. Those who are following us live from wherever you are, we want to appreciate you and tell you thank you so much for following this link. Thank you so much for being part of this family. Thank you so much for being part of this celebration that we are celebrating the life that was well lived of the late our father, our friend Richard Cheriot Ngen. Nataka kuwaombeni kwa heshima tafadhali. Muniruhusu sasa kwa heshima niweze kukaribisha kanisa ili kanisa liweze kutuongoza katika ibada fupi, ibada nzuri ambayo itakuwa ni ya kumuomboleza baba yetu. Kwa hivyo naomba mniruhusu kwa heshima nikaribishe mchungaji ili akachukue ratba akawatuongoze katika ibada. Kanisa karibu sana. Asante bwana MC. Natumai tumetulia bwana sifiwe. Pasi familia majirani kanisa na waombolezaji kwa ujumla na wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Mjambo. Pasi nami si jambo kwa jina hilo. Mzee wetu Richard Ngeny ni mzazi, ni rafiki, 
mkulima mashuhuri na pia ni mcha Mungu. Sisi kama kanisa tunamjivunia kwa sababu alilinda imani yake. Bwana asifiwe. So ndiposa kanisa itachukua nafasi ya kwanza kuongoza ibada. So kwa sababu ni sherehe ya baba wetu Mzee Richard Ngeny, sherehe huwa inaambatana na nyimbo. So nitaalika kanisa la Bukwet kwaya wachongee mbele watutumbuise kwa wimbo moja kisha nitaalika wachungaji wa madhehebu zingine kwa sababu hapa sikendu huwa tunashirikiana na wao so kanisa tafadhali tusipoteze muda kwaya kwaya tafadhali wana kwaya wote nafasi ni yenu karibuni
Pasa Sante Kwaya wametuimbia vizuri Yerusalemu ni mchi mpya mahala ambapo pana usalama mahala ambapo wa Kristo wanatumainia kupaishi Bwana asifiwe Asanteni Kwaya makofi kwa Kwaya Asante kabisa nilikuwa nimesema watakaofuata ni wachungaji wa madhehebu zetu makanisa mengine Tafadhali maskofu kama tumechongea pia tunawadhamini tunatambua uwepo wenu tafadhali njoo mbele kama umefika ili ujitambulishe na kanisa ambalo unalihudumia Maskofu tafadhali popote tulipo Asanteni Asanteni Maskofu wana nidhamu na shukuru kwa sababu ya muda. Najua tuna mambo mengi, tuna ushuhuda ulio nzuri kwa sababu ya mwenda zake, lakini kwa sasa nitawasihi tujitambulisha majina yetu na makanisa ambayo tunahudumia. Maana tunafanya kazi moja, asanteni karibuni. Kanisa andalisi wapendwa kutoka pembe zote za dunia hii ambayo mmekuja kuomboleza kifo cha msee Richard Bwana Yesu azifiwe Natoa rambi rambi zangu nikisema pole kwa jamii mimi nikiingia skimu mzee Richard alinikaribisha mwaka wa 1989 nikaishi kwa plot yake vizuri sana amekuwa mzee mzuri kwa hiyo niliposikia kifo chake tulikipokea kwa masikitiko lakini nasema Mungu amlaze mahali pema Bwana azifiwe. Kwa majina ni Clovis Mhangwa Lukana, kwa General Secretary wa kanisa la Rock Christian Missions of Africa. Mungu awatie nguvu. Waombelezaji wenzangu katika jina la Yesu na wasalimu hamjambo. Sema pole. Pamoja na familia yangu tumeleta pole. Majina yangu naitwa Nyango Andrew Liberty Gospel Church Konoeni. Mungu awabariki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa jamii na kwa kanisa nasema kwamba pole msee na mjua na mfahamu. Kwa machina ni Reverend Martin Makoha na Uberi na Kenya Sims of Court kiwa mwangalisho wa makanisa ya KHI maeneo haya. Bwana wa maana awabariki. Amen. Jamii ya baba yetu ngenyi pamoja na shamba letu la Bukuti na kanisa la IIC natoa rabirabu zangu za pole. Majina yangu naitwa Naibu Askofu Kanina Mwangi nikiwa nachunga kanisa la AIPCK hapa Sihendu na pia mimi ni jirani hapa poleni sana Bwana wabariki tuko pamoja Haleluya Waamorezaji Bwana azifiwe kwa, kwa kwa majina yangu ni Askofu John Jiroge Mburu wa, wa Preaching for Life Change Ministry ni ninatoa po, pole zangu kwa familia ya mzeri Richard poleni kwa kumpoteza baba yenu ambaye mlimpenda na baba awape amani na awape faraja katika jina la Yesu. E, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Waomba lasaji wote wakeni kutoka mbali mbali na familia ngenyi na msalimu katika jina la Bwana Mchambo. Mimi langu nataka tu kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu kila wakati yeye ni mwema msengenyi huyu ni charani wangu na wakati walikucha hapa mwaka wa early 60s mimi nilikuwa mtoko sana na nimemuona paka wakati huwa amekuwa mzee hata mimi nilikuwa mzee so wacha tumpatie Mungu utukufu wote kwa hii miaka mingi ambao amempatia kwa sababu ni mapenzi yake yeye akaishi na akatoweke muta huu saidi sitakosa kuwashukuru wasichana wa poma hii hakika umetenda mambo ya ajabu mambo mazuri na umetoa mfano mzuri kwa baba yenu kwa sababu maisha ile amekaa ilikuwa maisha ya mtu kutamani kwa sababu walimweka kuwa free wakampatia gari alikuwa anatembea mahali popote anaenda hata alipata hiyo hachali wakati tu alikuwa anatembea kwa sababu maybe hakukuwa na mtu wa kuongea naye kwa poma 
kwa sababu mke hakukuweko lakini alikuwa mimi ninapendezwa na maisha ambayo wasichana walikuwa wamempea so mparikiwe sana na mchipe moyo siku nyingine mtakutana na baba yenu simparikiwe sana inaitwa Clement Turgut mchungaji wa AIC Ingobor kule Nakuru mahali Joyce wa familia hii anashiriki pamoja nasi mwoleni sana naitwa mchungaji Susan Rotich natoka kanisa la AIC Ingobor mahali ambapo Joyce anashiriki nasema pole sana kwa familia Asante sana maskofu nilisema kwa utangulisi maskofu ni watu wana nidhamu na wamedhihirisha makofi kwao Asanteni basi nafasi tutakayoiendea sasa ni kutambulisha kanisa lote la Africa Inland Church sio tu hapa Segendu kama unashiriki AIC tafadhali tusimame kwa miguu yetu ili tuwef kwa wale ambao wamekuja kulia pamoja nasi AIC nzima iwe ni kutoka Kericho iwe ni hapa Segendu iwe saboti, iwe region gani zote tutainuka ili tuweze kutambulika na umati huu ambao wamekuja kwa ajili ya sherehe ya baba wetu Asante ni tuwef. Asante. Hawa ni wana AIC, AIC Kenya ni moja tu na tumewaona. Asante ni sana kuinuka na kutambulika. Basi ni nafasi ya ushuhuda wa mse wetu. Yeye amekuwa Africa Inland Church na kuna wachache wetu watatoa ushuhuda wake. Na nitaanza na kina mama. Chair lady wa Chia leti wapo kwetu umefika. Chia leti amefika. Kama hayuko tutampa nafasi Esther Mutai. Esther Mutai tafadhali. Amefika. Oh, karibu mami. <laughs> amefika. Karibu sana. Wao ni washiriki pamoja na mwenda zake na wana ushuta chungu nzima hii inathibitisha ya kwamba mzee wetu alikuwa mcha Mungu na tuna ushuhuda wake karibu sana naomba msamaha ko ongea kwa lugha ya kikale mimi sisikiswa ili msuri bwana asibiwe okay bwana asibiwe bwana asibiwe tena Bwana asibiwe. Bwana asibiwe tena. Nashukuru Mungu ile kwa watu sisi patu viko hai na ninapumua tuseme asante. Kwa sababu hakuna kitu tu tulinunua kwa Mungu. Nani amelipa hewa? Hata mwenye mkonjo sasa itabona. Sema nashukuru kwa watoto yangu ya kijiji zetu na kuendea tena pole kwa richa chama ni asiamba hii iliongoza sisi kutoka kericho paka pande huu na Mungu iliongoza he iko mtu amepigana na richa kweli kwa hiyo mzee yake iko asante sana mimi siku hata nisemeni nini kwa sababu ilitoa sisi wengine Mungu ilionyesha yeye kutoa sisi wengine kwa mbali ilikuwa sisi ingekuwa hakuna hapa kitani Mungu tu Mungu tu Mimi sina mengi mimi nasema mwenye amekanyaka hapa Mungu apate aongezee miaka na harusi ya kuwe wengi ya kooleka na kooa kuliko matanga Asante mapixio reparen yote wanjilisti waimbachi nasema asante nitumia talanda yako ya Mungu ya setani awachwe alafu usubu ya mwisho sitakuwa kama huyu baba Richard 
yote asiambaiwa se tulikataa pombe na watoto setu wachuku setu kataa pombe na sana naongezea nani mandege naongezea nani mariba naongezea manyang'ao kweli si niwaongezea watu ile wakili Mungu ilichua kama natengeneza binadamu kwa kuwa nyingi alafu natawala kwa kila mnyama Asante sana hakuna hata mengi rafiki yangu ilitangulia kuondoka huyu baba amebwata watoto ya Richard kama msuri watoto yangu paka nyinyi nakuwa mwanga kabisa bali nyinyi natembea najua hawa ni watoto ya Yuko alama kusema ingine baba yake amekuba mama yake amekuba hakuna piti ya kila mtu hata mimi naimbanga kwa ya chusi setani na sasa sema na konje kama namwambia wewe nachoka bure paka mia mwe moja miaka paka mimi najua vitu kuu asande sana asande mimi kuongea paka kesho asande basta maombi yako siku hiyo iliamusa mimi kwa kidana ndio wewe naona mkuu na mimi naimba asande asante sana ana imani anaishi miaka mia. si Mungu ni mwema asante basi tutabayana pia kipasa Saudi kwa mama wetu pia ato ushuhuda kwa sababu ya baba wetu Richard Ngeny na tutakuwa ufumilifu anapokuja polepole yeye pia ana ushuhuda ulio kamili so karibu mam pia ushuhudie yeye amekuwa mshiriki pamoja na wewe na una mambo mazuri kumuhusu karibu sana asante Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ninawasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu amjambo. Mimi pia nisichambo katika jina hilo la Yesu Kristo. Maana Kristo ni mgombozi wa maisha yangu. Ni asante kwa Mungu tunashukuru kwa sababu ya ulinzi ambaye ametulinda angalau tuko na husuni kwa Richard kutuwaja lakini tunashukuru Mungu ningependa kusema pole kwa watoto wa Richard na manduku na marafiki zake na kanisa lake na shamba lake kukwetu yote na hata na watu wa kilicho na wale wanatokea mahali popote ambaye wanajua kwa mahi tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya yule Richard ambaye alitutendea na yale alitendea Mungu ameenda na ushuhuda mzuri au safi amekuwa mtu wa kusema ukweli kwa kila wakati walianza kutafuta ishamba na alikuwa kiama ya ishamba na niongoza na nikawia kila mtu kulingana na shea zake so kwa hiyo tunashukuru tunasema Richard ametuacha na hakuenda na chochote anaenda tu na sile mangu ambaye amefalishwa lakini mali amewachia ametuachia amewachia watoto wake lakini kwa vile Mungu kumpenda na kumchukua tunasema poleni 
huyu Richard ata miaka chache tu alikuwa akienda sokoni au barabara lakini tukikutana alikuwa ananijua nika ni watu wengine wanasema Richard afahamu mtu mpaka umwambie lakini kila wakati tukikutana anasema eh Mary na wakati mwingine alikuwa ananiita ndugu yake so kwa hivyo alikuwa na upendo alikuwa alikawa mashamba yetu alikawa shamba ya shule alikawa shamba ya maparapara tuko na mashule tatu apa kwetu kono in primary na kono in secondary na tetniko na ni kwa sababu ya hekima sake ambaye alikuwa amepewa sababu alikuwa kiongozi tuko na makanisa mbili kwa chamba letu ambaye hatukununua alikawa shamba la AIC na akakaa shamba la Liberty sasa simunaona bila alifanya na akapenda Mungu akaongoza mzuri sisi tulikana Richard kwa familia atelete saya na mimi tulilima shamba yake miaka 14 tukikomboa alikuwa akisema hata kama uko na pesa kama uko sutanipa lakini Richard alipata pesa yake na tukalima mpaka wakati huo ndio niseme yeye ni mwaminifu hakutufukuza alisema tu kama nafasi imetosha imetosha si watai na nyinyi hamunitai so kwa hivyo tuliwachana kwa nafasi msuri tunashukuru hata watoto wake wote hawakunungunika tulipendana mpaka wa leo nasema watoto wa poma hii mwangalie kasi ya Richard aliwacha chamba yake na tunajua wakati huo hivi karibuni kuna wengine watasema tuuse shamba na sio yako ni papa Richard alitafuta ndio tukue hapa leo umate huu wingi kwa wingi ni ushuta safi msifarakane kwa mali ya Richard muache ikae na mtumie kwa kila hali ili muweze ufaulu wakati huu tunashukuru Mungu sababu Richard alichuku alijua neno la Mungu na akakuwa na upendo mwingi sana na tunasema tupendane kwa sababu upendo unatoka kwa Mungu na tutengenese mapito yetu tutengenese mali tutaishi na wakati huu familia ya Isaya Keter tafadhali mwamuke na muwevu 
Pasa babu ya kusindikisa Richa. Please, maani we uko. Amuka na uef. Useme bye bye. Alikuwa kama papa wenu. Sababu alitutafutia mahali pa kuishi. So please, kila moja wamuke useme bye bye na tutengeneze mapito yetu ili tutaesa kukutana na Richard mahali atawekwa so kwa hivyo na shukuru sana waombolesaji wote poleni sana poleni sana poleni sana tumelia lakini tunafurahi kwa sababu tunamsindikiza kwa kwa usafi ambaye unatoka kwa Mungu so kwa hivyo nasema Mungu aweze kuabariki Asante ameongea kwa urefu kwa sababu ya uhusiano wake wa karibu na marehemu so nitaita mwalimu Samuel Kimani pia ato ushuhuda wake kwa ufupi kisha chema na Bukwet Mr. Josaya alafu tutaenda kwa hatu wengine tutachunga muda nafikiri Asante karibu Madhabahu ya siku ya leo familia ya baba yetu Richard ombolezeji wote bwana asifiwe amjambo weka masi kamurembe murembe rundi muleyaga chamuge we are celebrating a life well lived kwa hivyo hakuna haja ya kuwa na uzuni ingawa mtu akituacha hiyo kuachana damu na nyama inakuwa chungu kidogo kabla ni sema neno kuna mama kuja salamia na sababu tulishiriki pamoja katika uhusiano kubwa sana na hii family tukua pamoja mama Karo na baba Karo hivyo ndivyo tulipenda kubaita hawa wazazi wetu katika jina la Yesu wa mjambo mimi naitwa Mary Kimani ambaye amesimama hapa napenda kutoa rabirambi zetu na familia yetu kwa sababu hii familia ya Richard na yetu tulishirikiana sana katika kanisa la Kimilini tulikuwa tunasafiri huko na watoto wetu na tena Richard na watoto wake tukasimamia hiyo kanisa kwa muda ambao Mungu alipenda baadaye tukaitwa turudi makanisa yetu nyumbani na tukashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo kazi tulipendana sana na kazi yote tulifanya pamoja tulipanga mipango pamoja na hakuna shida ilipatikana hata wakati mkutano wa branch ulikuja kututembelea kule kiminini walitupata tumewangoja na tukakaa na wao vizuri pia alinipatia shamba hapa tukalima tukafurahi sana. Kwa hivyo tulimuona yeye pia ni baba yetu alitulea pamoja na watoto wake. Tuna uzuni kwa sababu tunajua baada alisimama na sisi. Lakini tunasema yote ni ya Mungu. Tulimpenda sana na Mungu amempenda zaidi. Wacha apumzike. Poleni, poleni ndugu zangu, watoto wa Richard, mjipeni moyo na mjue Mungu atachukua nafasi ya baba ataweza kuwaende kuelekeza na hata kuwalinda na Bwana wabariki sana asanteni sana basi kama mama vile amesema tulishiriki kwanza mimi nilikuwa turesha rawake kwa miaka mingi alikuwa chairman ni wa branch Andrew wakiwa secretary tukafanya hiyo kazi baada ya election wengine wakaingia tukaenda kimini ni kile mama amesema 
tukaanzisha ile kanisa tulipokuwa posted pale tukaisimamia kabisa lakini ye, after five years yakachoka akaniwacha huko kwa miaka miwili nami nikatoka tukarudi nyumbani mama amesema tulilima hapa na wakati tulikuwa tunalima hapa tulikuwa tunajisikia nyumbani mahindi isipobebwa anasema wewe Samuel ienda nyumbani mitachunga siku ndala hata siku moja kwa shamba hapa tunachunga mahindi hapana huyo mzee alikuwa mzee mzuri na yeye nilimsoma kitu naitwa politics hakutaka hamu unga introduce topic ya politics ananyamaza yeye tena alikuwa anapenda kuongea summary story mrefu mrefu hakuwa na nafasi nayo na mwisho mzee alikuwa time kipa mzuri ukimkuasa kwa time mtakoa sana na nilijaribu sana to keep to his standard na tukaishi hivyo miaka hiyo yote watoto wa Richard e, mujikaze si nyinyi peke yetu yenyu hamuna baba sisi mama hana baba mama ama mba, mama sisi baba zetu na mama yetu walituacha mapema na tujikaza atukulemewa pale there is always plan b katika maisha ile mzee ameondoka basi hasa ni nyinyi na kitu nataka kusema ni kwamba kwa nini kwa nini msozane ati kwa sababu ya shamba ambalo hamukutafuta ya nini kama wenyewe mama karo hako hapo chini richard tunamweka chini who are you to quarrel ali na weldon and the sisters who are you na hiyo ndio imetuhifadhi hata sisi family yetu we are eight of us and all these years we have never quarreled about the shambas we were left with we are nini if the owners are not there who are we kwa hivyo mkae kwa kwa amani mpendane well done uongoze timu vizuri eh konseza kila wakati nyinyi wote mko iko na Mungu atawabariki na mtaendelea kulea wajukuu wa Richard na vituku vizuri kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki sana nataka niimbie mzee wimbo wimbo wa tenzi namba 144 Mbele ninaendelea. Eh hey, mzee tulikana eh bwana. Mbele ninaendelea. Ninazi kutembea maombi yasikie. Eh hey, hey, bwana
kuweka kura ga Asante sana mwalimu atakayefuata na wakumalizia ni chairman wa Bukwet ambaye pia atakuwa mfupi kwa sababu ya muda tupishe mahubiri yaji Karibu chairman Ya kwanza na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu wa mjambo Mimi si jambo kwa hilo china na nashukuru Mungu amekuwa mwema wangu na amini kwamba ni mwema kwa kila mmoja wenu. Nataka ni kabla ni ongee, nataka ni toe bole sangu kwa niaba yangu kwa, na kwa niaba ya familia yangu na kanisa kwa chumla ya African Island Church Pukwet kwa familia hii nataka sema poleni sana poleni sana eh kuondokewa na baba tunaamini kwamba Mungu atakufariji eh wakati wote nataka sema hivi kwamba huyu mzee Richard tulijua mimi nilijua wakati niliingia nyuma hapa Pukwet 1986 na tuliona kasi yake ambaye alifanya alifanya kasi mzuri vile hao wengine wamesema nili nipoingia niliambiwa hata nyumba yenye iko kwetu yeye alikuwa fundi alikuwa fundi mwema alichengea watu manyumba wapoma mbali mbali na alikuwa mtu wa mpango mzuri kwa sababu kuchenga manyumba hizo na yeye kwa na kwake na kasi mingi alikuwa na anakana alikuwa na bidii sana. Hata hizo manyumba bado ziko. Na nashukuru yeye sana kwa sababu kati ya mafundi ambaye tunajua ni wachengaji ni mmoja wa wale ama si rahisi sana upate fundi ambaye ameendelea vile huyu mzee aliendelea. Wengi atuoni kama wako wanaendelea vizuri lakini huyu mzee ni kielelezo mzuri sana kwa kasi ambaye alifanya kwa sisi wote. Nataka sema hivi. Kwa kanisa letu mzee alikuwa mshiriki wetu, wakati mmoja alikuwa chairman wa local church wetu wa African Island Church. Kwa muda aliendelea vizuri, akasimamisha hata kanisa yenye iko sahi ilikuwa imejengwa lakini ikafika mahali kasimama lakini yeye mwenyewe alikuja akafua na ikasimama vizuri bila hata wachungaji wanajua kina mtu hata anajua so nashukuru yeye sana amekuwa kielelezo mzuri amekuwa mshiriki ambaye alikuwa napenda kasi ya Bwana hata ngawacha alifika mahali hakushiriki na sisi lakini alitubea familia yao wake wote wakawa washiriki wetu hata mama ambaye alilala alikuwa mshiriki mwema wa nguvu hata alikuwa mwana kwaya so naomba familia hii tunapoongea mtufikirie hiyo jambo sana familia ya Richard ambaye umepaki watoto mufikiri hiyo jambo kanisa wasasi wali walikuwa wamechagua kanisa la African Island Church so wakati mtakuwa hapa karibu e, mwe mtakuwa na nakuja kushiriki pamoja ama ngwele kwa kazi wale matome te kanisa ne kito wasasi che kuoget yonomiga karibu yu Obone sige mitul suwanga kakubiga watet suwararanit Pia nataka sema hivi wakati mko ukule ama yanumi ulilo olelo obote chakeke urute chene sige mitul akaya gasit kibagenge So kwa hiyo majaji sitaki sema mingi eh nataka sema Mungu aweke mali tema Msuri Mzee Richard kwa kumumsika hivyo nataka sema kwa hayo majaja Mungu awabariki. Asante. Asante sana chairman tumesikia ushuhuda wa mzee wetu Richard Ngeng
Kwa hivyo he must be accorded a good send off. So nitachukua nafasi hii kualika referen ngeno ambaye atachukua nafasi iliyosalia. Na washukuru kunisikisa naitwa mchungaji Isaac Naibei Cherokony na huduma kanisa la Africa Island Church Bukwet. Asante. Karibu referen. Ah, uh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, jamii na kanisa na wageni kutoka mbali ambao pia wamechunga nasi siku ya leo. Nashukuru kabla ya the speaker for the day. Aache. Mimi pia ni jina langu ni Reverend Andrew Ngeno. Na mke moja ambaye hako mahali hapa sio awe tu mahali hako because interest of time. Tunashukuru sana nyinyi wote. Our speaker, thank you for coming uliwacha huduma ingine lakini tunashukuru yangu tu ni kusema kwamba Richard alikuwa wetu wa maana sana na amewachia sisi zote baraka hata watoto nasema well done tunasema well done Richard ametuacha na alifanya mengi ambayo hata tosi hata masaa kusema au wenzangu wamesema baadhi lakini ni mengi ni mengi so this family nasema congratulations natakia heri natakia mu, amani ya Mungu na Richard ameenda mama alitangulia na nyinyi sasa muko lakini muko na Mungu muko na Mungu na tumeona baraka ya Mungu Richard aliwachia nyinyi baraka aliwachia nyinyi baraka so tuchunge hiyo baraka tuheshimu wanaweza wasifiwe nafikiri zote tusimame Tusimame zote tuombe ili tupate neno na ulisa mchungaji Elisha asome na pia kweli nakumbusha wajua because of time ningependa tu district church council segindu as i am the chairman wachungaji wache hapa mbele na kuwef wef yeye wachungaji wa hapa segindu dcc your chairman at secretary wa DCC treasurer ako where is the treasurer treasurer ajafika mbutia kwa hivyo zandeni hawa tunafanya kazi Mungu alituita ili tutumikie tukingojea Yesu kwa hivyo kwa niaba yao tunawaambia familia tunatakia heri na vile wanenaji walio tangulia mkiwa hapa nyumbani tuko pamoja mkipata mazuri mahali mnafanya kazi mtulete na hata pia mnapoenda mnalipeleka salamu zetu kwa hivyo tupate neno somo tukisimama amen somo la leo linatoka kitabu cha Yohana mtakatifu sura yake ya ine kuanzia moja hadi sita. John chapter 4 verses 1 to 26 Neno la Mungu linasema hivi Kwa hiyo Bwana alipofahamu ya kuwa mafarisayo wamesikia ya kwamba Yesu anafanya wanafunzi wengi kuliko Yohana na kuwapatiza lakini Yesu mwenyewe hakupatiza pali wanafunzi wake Aliacha kupita katikati ya Samaria basi akafika kunako mji wa Samaria uitwao Sikari karibu na lile shamba ambalo Yakobo alimpa Yusufu mwanawe na hapo palikuwa na kisima cha Yakobo basi Yesu kwa sababu amechoka kwa safari yake akaketi vivi hivi kisimani nayo ilikuwa yapata saa sita saa sita akaja mwanamke msamaria kutega maji Yesu akamwambia nipe maji ninywe kwa maana wanafunzi wake wamekwenda mjini kununua chakula basi yule mwanamke msamaria akamwambia imekuwaje wewe muyahudi kutoka mji wangu kwani uh, kutoka mji kwangu nami ni mwanamke msamaria maana wayahudi hawachangamani na wasamaria Yesu akajibu akamwambia kama 
ungalijua gharama ya Mungu naye ni nani akuambiaye nipe maji ninywe ungalimuomba yeye naye angalikupa maji yaliyo hai yule mwanamke akamwambia Bwana una kitu cha kutegea na kisima ni kirefu basi ume umeyapata wapi ayo maji yaliyo hai yes, je wewe huu mkubwa kuliko baba yetu Yakobo aliyetupa kisima hiki na, naye mwenyewe akanywa maji yake na wanawe pia na wanyama wake Yesu akajibu akamwambia kila anywae maji haya ataona kiu tena walakini yeye walakini yeyote atakayekunywa maji yale nitakayompa mimi hataona kiu milele pali yale maji nitakayompa yatakuwa ndani yake chemchemi ya maji yakibubujikia uzima wa milele yule mwanamke akamwambia bwana unipe maji hayo nisione kiu wala nisije hapa kutega Yesu akamwambia nenda kamwite mumeo uje naye hapa yule mwanamke akajibu akasema sina mume Yesu akamwambia umesema vema sina mume kwa maana umekuwa na waume watano naye ulie naye sasa siye mume siye mume wako hapo umesema kweli yule mwanamke akamwambia Bwana naona naona hapo umesema kweli ha? pole yule mwanamke akamwambia Bwana naona ya kuwa huu nabii baba zetu waliabudu katika mlima huu nanyi usema ya kwamba huko Yerusalemu ni mahali patupasapo kuabudia Yesu akamwambia mama una, unisadiki saa inakuja amba, ambayo hamtamwabudu baba katika mlima huu wala kule Yerusalemu 22 ninyi mnaabudu msichokijua sisi tunaabudu tukijuacho kwa kuwa wokovu watoka kwa Wayahudi 23 lakini saa inakuja nayo sasa hipo ambayo waabuduo halisi watamwabudu baba katika roho na kweli kwa maana baba awatafuta watu kama hao wa muabudu Mungu ni roho nao wanao muabuduo yeye imewapasa kuabudu kumwabudu katika roho na kweli yule mwanamke akamwambia najua ya kuwa yuaja masihi aitwaye Kristo naye atakapokuja yeye atatufunulia mambo yote 26 Yesu akamwambia mimi ninayesema ni nawe ndiye na neno la Bwana libarikiwe amina Karibu our main speaker tuombe pamoja Mbele yako Mwenyezi Mungu tunachikapiti ili tusikie neno lako umeandaa mioyo yetu Bwana Tunashukuru kwa siku ya leo siku ambayo tunaona ni baraka zako tunaona utulivu tunaona hata furaha sherehe kwa aliyelala starija yale aliyotenda Bwana akiwa mtumishi wako tunashukuru alifanya kasi hata kutumwa kiminini kuvelega injili na tunasema asante alichenga kanisa na hata tunaona Bwana kama ni legacy na hata kusomesha watoto wake na hata tunaona hata alitimiza na hata watoto pia tunatakia mema tunaposikia neno lako mtumishi wako sasa anasimama mbele yako bariki yeye tumia yeye tia yeye nguvu tupate baraka katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen thank you <coughs> tuketi asante kwanza na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Bwana hamjambo Bwana asifiwe 
kama uko mahali unanisikilia unanisikiza hebu nipungie mkono bwana asifiwe praise the lord uh, kwa hivyo nashukuru sana uh, licha ya kwamba ni wakati wa maombolezo lakini kukutana sehemu hii uh, sehemu ambaye uh, ina historia kwangu uh, leo imekuwa ni siku ambaye haijakuwa rahisi nilipopewa mwaliko huu kuja kumpumzisha huyu mzee ilibidi ni waze kwa sababu leo kuna rafiki na jamii wetu ambaye anazikwa sehemu ya rafiki uh, bwana Kamau ambaye aliaga kwa mafuriko kule Kanyarukwat na ikawa ni ngumu niliposjulishwa kuhusu haya kwa sababu naye pia mzee huyu familia yake na kijiji hiki kwa ujumla vile vile kina sehemu kubwa ndani ya maisha yangu wale hawanijui naitwa mchungaji Isaac Mutua lakini jina langu la katikati ni Njaramba uh, kwa sababu siku hizi mke wangu hakubali kujiita Mrs Mutua Mutua is my surname kwa hivyo yeye aliwezesha jina langu la kati lianze kutumika maana anajiita Mrs Njaramba kwa hivyo Jambo la kwanza nipende kuseme kwamba mimi nilihudumu hapa it was my first posting wakati ambapo kijiji hiki cha Bukwet hakikuwa vile kilivyo uh, they were isolated uh, number of families na niliishi hapa kama mchungaji wa AIC siku hiyo tukiwa na kanisa lingine hapa ambalo liliitwa Liberty na niliona kama mzee Uh, wa kanisa hilo alikuwa anaitwa mm, mzee eh tamutu wa yes ndio nilimuona kama akiingia ako, ako wapi asante sana asante ya yeah. tulikuwa ni hao makanisa mawili tulikuwa tukiabudu sehemu hii na we were one family one time watu wa Liberty wakiona nikitembea kwa boma za watu wangu walisema kwa nini unapita boma zetu unaruka unaenda boma zingine kwa hivyo tukawa mimi na mzee when we were doing our visitation hatukujua kama unaenda AIC ama unaenda Liberty maana it was one family pili ndani ya kijiji hiki nilikuwa integrated kwa sababu i was youthful nilikuwa kijana na nika, nikaja nikakaa ndani yao na nikapokelewa in fact i can say they even spoiled me maana i was oversupplied with material needs na they don't know kwamba nilipoondoka hapa elsewhere i've served si kupata kanisa lingine ambalo liliweza kunishika na hapa tulikuwa tukishirikiana na kule uh, AIC Musharage na ilikuwa tu ni muda baada ya clashes ya 19 I mean ya was it 1992 na nikaja hapa kuanza 1993 kwa hivyo i tukakaa kwa sehemu hii as brothers and sisters you could not tell the distinction between uh, watu wa sehemu hii ambao wengi walikuwa wa Kipsigis na wengine kule Musharage mainly who are Gikuyus Uh, na nakumbuka kwamba it was very good fellowship na during my early ministry kuna kitu kimoja nilikuja nikapata uh, vile watu walikuwa wanaishi na I, i don't know for a certain reason nilivutiwa sana kufanya kazi na kujaribu kwa sababu i noticed that young ladies by that time had the struggle ya kuweza ku, ku, ku survive in the community ambayo it was male dominated na where girls were sometimes walikuwa wanaona like anything a man says is right so therefore i wanted to stay with the ladies na i wanted to impact to empower them so that at the end of the day because nakumbuka wengi walikuwa wakifika class 7 wakifika primary they get married they are impregnated na inakuwa maisha sasa it was terrible 
and I was like, no, these ladies need to stay in a, in a, in a, in a more, lazima wawe na uwezo. So for, uh, for my ministry, licha ya kwamba tulikuwa tuna all youth ministries, but I had a special attention to the, young, to the young upcoming girls. Ambao by that time, some of them were junior. Nakumbuka nikija hapa kwa ngen, kulikuwa na wasichana watatu wakubwa. Alikuwa moja ni Joyce, uh, na huyo mwingine ni Emily na Helen. Lakini hawa wengine walikuwa juniors. Na I remember we had both youth ministry and juniors. And today... Ninapoingia hapa you don't know how you have surprised me Helen yako wapi Hebu asijana wako amuke You know you know when I saw her coming aka drop box pale karibu kuja unisalimie You know I also I, I almost asked na leo Helen kwa nini you don't karibu nimuulize kwa nini Helen you don't want to greet me because huyu amechukua umbo ya mama yake when she used to be a girl you look like your mom when she used to be like you so thank you so much and i so i got surprised kuja kuona a big group ya wajuku ambao bwana ngeny ameacha hapa nyuma kwa hivyo for us we celebrate and many other people vijana wengi ambao nili nilichunga wakati huo some of them are very senior. Some of them work in the diaspora. Wale wengine, they are really doing, they are making me proud. So recently, wakati ngeny anani karu aliniita, akasema, I would like you to come and bury dad. Nikamwambia, I'm still having another funeral. Lakini kile kili nisukuma ni kwamba, these ladies still identify ile relation tulikuwa na wao sehemu hii so i'm very happy i'm very proud to be here hata kana kwamba nimekuja kwa wakati ambapo ulipo mgumu so for all of us nasema bwana tubariki kijiji kimekuwa kikubwa the area is so big hata in sometimes kurudi hapa i have to locate the ile distance ambayo nilikuwa najaribu kutembea mzee huyu I remember well when I visited here. Na wakati mwingine tukaongea ikafika usiku, mimi nilikuwa naishi kwa nilitangulia kuishi kwa Chebabun. Watu wa Chebabun wako wapi? Oh, thank you so much. Niliishi kwa Chebabun kwa kwa muda kidogo alafu nikaishi baadaye nikatafutiwa nyumba pale kwa Jackson na nimeona kijana ya Jackson yako pale. That time he was a tiny boy in primary school today. He is a professional, a teacher by profession. Si bwana atubariki. Na wale wengine uwengi. Nakumbuka kwa bwana ako, uh, ambaye saizi ni chairman wa kanisa ya Bukwet. Uh, nilikuwa nikiwatembelea usiku. Na badai kifika saine ya usiku wata nasema unaenda nyumbani kufanya nini. Na mke wake alikuwa kianda mahali. Nilikuwa na kama singira yangu uko kwao. Sijui mke wa ko, 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 ako wapi mke wa chairman uh, wa Bukwet ama hajakuja. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana watu kama kina Mr Mr Kemani when I, I went to kule sehemu ya ya Musharage I used to sleep there na nakumbuka we there were, there is a lot. So they nikiambiwa nipeane by the way I'm writing my autobiography and I believe this section Na mahali nilianzia huduma, I believe itachukua a bigger section of my autobiography uh, Kwa sababu mimi si tataka historia yangu mwi contain wakati wa mazishi yangu kwa kaboko, kwa, kwa kabuklet kadogo na mnaio I will write my own life and then you will choose during my death what you will say about me Kwa hivyo nimeitwa hapa, nika shukuru sana, huyu mzee tumefanya nae kazi kama vile uh, chairman amesema na watoto wake they know me personally they have stayed with me we have we have joked with them we have empowered each other and uh, every time tukikutana even outside context kama hii uh, na shukuru sana and I, I thank you so much the ngenys that you did not forget this mchungaji alo bwana asifiwe i feel honored and privileged 
najua kuna wachungaji wengi wangepata hii jukumu lakini you said that uh, wacha tu tukae pamoja na tuweze ku, kuendelea so with all said and done nataka tuchukue because uh, i might take you through another three hour service nataka tusimame tuimbe wimbo cha kutumaini sina alafu tuweze kuendelea <coughs> Cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake bwana sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha kwake Yesu mimi nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama kwake sumimi nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ya yangu iwe ndefu yeye hu ni pamani Ujumbe ambao tunaenda kuangalia I will be very brief kwa sababu I want to guide you mahali huo ujumbe huko so that right now baada ya hapa whatever I will not be clear you will be able to get it I'm trying to conserve Okay asante sana. Nasema kabla sijamkaribisha na kusikia kuna muheshimiwa ambaye angetaka kuondoka na I want to send you kwa ujumbe ambao naenda kuhubiri leo briefly uko kwa YouTube. Hata saa hii ukiingia tu kwa YouTube ugugu Reverend Isaac Njaramba Mutua you will get it there. Kwa hivyo sitachukua sita muda mrefu because I know there is a place you can get that message. A uh, uh, Reverend Isaac Njaramba Mutua. Sa ile mnaendelea kutafuta kwa sababu najua right now the world is just within us. Tu hapa uh, tu kwa hii technology you'll get everything that's why we don't spend a lot of time. Nitaomba kwa heshima uh, senator aweze kuja kutu nimeomba nasikia atakuwa uh, karibu sana oh, oh yeah thank you so much karibu sana uh, so you can address them briefly i hear you want to leave pleasure thank you thank you thank you asante sana pastor na kanisa uh, familia watu wa sikendu waombolezaji wote wa marafiki bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena kwanza kabisa mimi nataka niseme shukurani sana kwa kanisa. Sio rahisi uh, kupewa nafasi wakati kanisa imeanza. Mimi nataka niseme shukurani sana, hiyo ni heshima kubwa sana. Ya pili ningependa kusema nimekuja hapa kusema pole kwa familia hii kwa sababu huyu ndugu yangu Ali alikuwa ni mtu yangu sana na ni mtu ambaye alisimama na mimi nimekuja kusema pole na unajua kumpoteza baba sio kitu rahisi pasta kitambo nikianza siasa kule 
nilikuwa naenda kwa mazishi kwa sababu kawaida wanasiasa hapa Tanzania wengi na si Tanzania peke yake wanasiasa wengi wanaenda kwa mazishi kwa sababu wanajua watu wamefanya nini wamekusanyika kuomba mambo ya kura sikuwa naona uchungu sana wakati nilikuwa naenda kwa mazishi wakati hiyo 2017 lakini nilikuja nikampoteza baba yangu na nikasikia uchungu sana kumpoteza mtu wa karibu so kutoka wakati nilipoteza baba yangu mpaka leo mimi siendi mazishi kwa sababu ya kuenda tu kwa sababu watu wamekusanyika ninajua ile uchungu wa wale wamefio wanasikia so ndugu yangu ali na familia yako nenda kaniseme poleni sana sitachukua muda kwa sababu ni muda ya kanisa ni kusema tena watu wasihendu mimi nataka niseme asanteni sana nyinyi mlisimama na mimi mimi nilitembea peke yangu wakati ile lakini nyinyi wananchi mlisimama na mimi iko wenye hata walinipigia kura na hawakuwahi kuniona mimi nataka niwaelezee wana sekendu ile kazi mlinipatia mimi nitaenda niwafanyie so yangu nikasema pole na it is a coincidence that the same verse the same verse in this uh, booklet is the same verse that was in my father's burial it has really touched me so hii verse inasema peace i live with you my peace i give you i do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid john 14:27 this is the same verse that was in my father's uh, booklet and i've just been nimesikia niko touched sana ningependa sana kanisa nikae nisikie neno but unfortunately today i came to tranzoia because mimi ndio naenda kufungua hospitali hapa serende na nilikuwa nifungue saa tano lakini nikasema lazima nifike hapa niseme pole zangu niseme asanteni kwa watu wa Sikendu na mimi nitarudi tena hapa Sikendu tuzidi kujadiliana so kwa leo nasema tu pole ali we are together na ningependa kuomba ukiona huyu mzee magari imejaa huku nje watu wametoka mahali uh, sehemu mbalimbali inamaanisha huyu mzee alikuwa mtu wa maana sana so ningependa tuige mfano wa huyu mzee ni sherehe pia ni kama imekuwa sherehe kwa sababu huyu mzee alikuwa mtu mzuri na wale wageni wote ambao tumekuja hapa kanisa tafadhali wakati tunaenda ndio hii familia itazidi kupata uzuni zaidi tuzidi kupigia familia hii tuzidi kuwaombea tuzidi kukaa na wao karibu ndio pia hao wapate kufarijiwa otherwise Mungu awabariki sana na nimeona familia kweli siku hapa siku ya Rambe ningependa pia unajua bei ya sukari imepanda sana. Niko na shilingi 1030 familia mnunue sukari ya kuchunga wageni. Na pia kanisa hii niko na sadaka ya shilingi 1010 amenifanyia heshima sana. Otherwise Mungu awabariki sana. Mimi ndio seneta wenye tuwatoanzoe county, mimi nawapenda na tuzidi kurudi kutembeleana na kujadiliana. Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Thank you. Thank you thank you thank you Okay nashukuru sana ndugu wetu bwana senator honorable uh, nashukuru pia wacha saa tuanze mahali ambapo nilisema tuko The book of John chapter 4 verse 1 to 26 Nataka tu ku, kueleza mambo tu machache kwa sababu I want to leave the rest with you Go into the YouTube page you will get that message na ujumbe ambao tunaongea siku hii ya leo ni kuhusu a very simple topic uh, ni mambo ambayo sisi tuna we celebrate in our lives and some of them are unfortunate yani mambo ambayo sisi tunasherekea na lakini ni mambo ambayo we are supposed to be mourning i entitled the message comfort in unfortunate comforts. Huo ujumbe ndio ambaye tunataka kuangalia leo wakati ambapo tunaenda kumpumzisha huyo mzee wetu. Comfort in unfortunate comforts. Unaniambia yani kustarehe ama ku, 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 kufurahia mahali ambapo haustahili kufurahia. 
Wacha tuanze. Huyu mama msamaria. I want us to come together. Nataka tukutuleta mawazo yetu. Biblia inasema Yesu alikuwa akisafiri kutoka ugalila uga, uga, uh, au Yahudi kuelekea Galilaya. Na lakini ilibidi apitie mji wa Samaria. Mji ambapo alipofika pale amechoka akakaa kwa kisima mahali paliitwa uh, uh, Saika ama Sika kwa Kiswahili. Na akiwa amechoka mama msamaria akaja. Na mama msamaria alipokuja akamwambia Yesu nipe maji ya kunywa. Na yule mama msamaria akiwa katika biashara yake akamwambia yawezekanaje wewe Muyahudi na mimi msamaria tukaweza kutumia chombo kimoja cha maji. Na Yesu akamwambia ungalijua ni nani ambaye anakuomba maji ni wewe ungemuomba maji na yeye angekupatia maji ya kunywa. Na huyo mama akamwambia basi nipe maji hayo. Na Yesu akamwambia nenda kamuite mumeo kwanza, alafu ukija nitakupa hayo maji. Mama akasema sina mume, Yesu akasema yatosha. Umesema kweli. Alafu mwisho mama akamwambia mama akamwambia Yesu, lakini you guys, you nyinyi wa Yahudi sisi tunaabudu katika mlima huu na nyinyi wa Yahudi mnasema ibada nzuri inatoka Yerusalemu. Ma Yesu akamwambia saa yewaja mama ambaye waabudua Mungu hawatamwabudu Mungu kwa kweli, hawatamwabudu Mungu kwa mlima huu wala Yerusalemu wala Yerusalemu, bali they will worship God in truth and in spirit. Allo Allo kama bado unanisikiliza nipungie mkono because I'm just giving a summary. Na ukaniuliza where am I getting my topic today? Na tuweze kurudia pamoja maana sisi tunajua we speak English. I'm speaking, I'm addressing comfort in unfortunate comforts. And I want ourselves to see how we ourselves in this world mirror the life of this woman by doing exactly what she was doing. Na isikusumbue niko sawa, niko sawa. I'm okay. Sasa huyu mama kwanza wacha niulize wale sisi wa Afrika the way tuna huyu mama alipoingia kwa kisima mnasikia mahali alimuamkua Yesu Kristo. Hello, are you hearing kuna mahali aliamuamkua Yesu? But what is the good behavior of Africans? Immediately nikuja nikupate mahali, what do I do? Ujambo rafiki ochamgei kama ni mkukuyu utamwambia nini we mwega si ndio lakini huyu mama alipokuja kuyateka yale maji and there was a person seated at the well what did she do alienenda kwa biashara yake akayateka maji and on her way back i believe yesu akamwambia mama nipe maji What was Jesus looking at? Yesu alikuwa anatafuta mpenyo kwa, na, ka, kwa maisha ya mama. I call it opo, uh, opportunity of penetration points. And a penetration point inaenda haraka it does two things. Number one, it ina, ina, inamfungua mtu ili upate nafasi ya kunena naye and number two, the penetration point gives the listener or the other person you are trying to penetrate to an opportunity to open up within his or her own assumption kwa hivyo huyu mama amekuja na Yesu akamwambia mama nipe maji alikuwa anatafuta mpenyo ndani ya maisha ya huyu mama ili aweze kujua huyu mama anastarehe kwa nini na starehe ya kwanza ambaye tunaona huyu mama alikuwa akistarehe ndani yake the, uh, the, the comfort in which she was comfortable in was the comfort in hostility hello hello are we together am i speaking alone unajua the problem with public speaking You might be talking alone, you might be talking to yourself. I'm saying huyu mama aliishi kwa ile tunaita comfort in established hostility. So she was comfortable but I'm submitting 
that she was unfortunately comfortable. Hello. When I say that, I want to come back to our scenarios. Many marriages, many of us are living in conflicts. Now, I have seen this in the church context. Mahali ambapo, washirika wawili watatu wanaishi kwa kanisa moja, na juzi, I witnessed, tuna witness a situation where we come from the church, we are saying, we are believing in God, we are worshipping, tunamuabudu mungu, na lakini ndani ya iyo kanisa, we have abhabbed hostility. Niliona ndani ya kanisa moja, baada ya watu kutoka inje kuenda kusalimiana, one lady and another person, walikuwa akisalimiana, wakisalimiana, lakini ule mwingine alipokuja, uyo mama, ama uyo mshirikia, akaweka mkono chini. Wakati uyo alipita tena, akafanya nini? Aka unyosha mkono ili watu wengine wafanya nini? So that lady was in the service. And na uyo lady ni mumoja wetu. We are doing the same. Tunaishi ndani ya kanisa, tunaishi ndani ya boma zetu, and we are hostile to one another. That is what I'm calling comfort in established hostility. Huyu mama aliishi kwa chuki, maana, where do I get chuki? Alikuja jambo la kwanza haku msalimu yesu, jambo la pili, alipokuwa anateka maji, it came out of her own voice. Maana alisema nini? How come? Ya weze kanaje? Wewe muyahudi, kuniuliza mimi msamaria, nikupe maji. You know very well that the history, imetueka apart. You and us, we don't cooperate. So you live in your world, we live in our world, we are comfortable, you be comfortable there. We don't even share how to share how to share how do you ask me for a drink hello bwana asifiwe praise the lord so can you see how we can harbor hostilities in our lives and life continues and jesus wanted to put this to a stop akamwambia mama nipe maji ninywe ladies and gentlemen i want to stack kwenda mbali Najua mawingu ya mefika, nataka tuende tumpumzisha huyu mze. But I want to warn ourselves. Ata saizi katika nchieti ya Kenya. What is going on? If you are in Kenya kwanza, you don't want to see people in Azimio. And if you are in Azimio, you don't want to see people in what? So we have harbored hostility. No matter what good comes from Kenya Kwanza will never be accepted by Azimio. And whatever good things come from Azimio will never be accepted by Kenya Kwanza. And right now we are living typically the manner in which this lady lived. Akawambia nyinyi wa Yahudi na sisi wa Samaria. Even in our homes husbands and wives are not connecting. They are living in two worlds because hostility has been harbored in our lives. So in this burial today, I want us to come out of those comfort zones because we are not comfortable there. Those are unfortunate comforts. We need to get to the place where we can see them as unfortunate. Nandiyo sababu ni nasema, I am negating my topic kwa kusema comfort in an, in an unfortunate comfort. Second comfort. Ambaye huyu mama aliishi ndani yake. Hello, are we together? Munataka kusikia comfort ya pili. Ambaye huyu mama ali entertain in her life. Comfort ya pili is in false satisfaction. Comfort in false satisfaction, which was unfortunate. Yesu akamwambia mama enda kamuita mumeo kama unataka ni kupe maji ya uzima. Mama akamwambia Yesu sina mume na Yesu akamwambia oya 
Hauna mume but umeishi na waume wangapi? Eh, what does the Bible say? Umeishi na waume wangapi? Na hata kwa yule unayeishi sasa naye ambaye pengine ni wa sita, huyo sio nani? Sio mumeo. Hello. You know this is life. And some of us have chosen to live to find satisfactions and things that do not satisfy. I want to say here kwamba jambo hili mama alikuwa akitafuta kwa wanaume was legitimate. It was a gift given by God. But it has to be satisfied in its context. Lazima itoshelezwe katika ma, 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 uh, context yake. Lakini huyu mama aliitafuta kwa watu wangapi? Alienda kwa mume wa kwanza akitafuta hakuipata. Akaenda kwa wangapi? Mbaka wakafika wangapi? Hello, you know me I like people who talk to we want to talk to each other. Alienda paka kwa wangapi? Five of them to the fifth and then it was not okay. Akaenda kuitafuta mpaka kwa wa sita. Because the Bible says hata yule ambaye uko naye sio nani. So she was looking for satisfaction and she really needed but she she was looking for it wrongly. Aliitafuta kwa waume. Kwa waume tano hakupata. Akaenda sasa hata huyu wa sita ambaye ndio sababu pengine ameenda kutafuta kuteka maji, aende ampikie lunch lakini Yesu akamwambia even on that you will not get it. Bwana asifiwe. So I'm saying comfort in established hostility number one. second comfort in false satisfaction and number three, comfort in empty religion. Hello. Hello. I'm sending you to that YouTube channel because I can't say everything. Comfort in empty religion. And this is the right time to speak about this. Kwa sababu tunajua kile kinafanyika kule Shakahola. Wale walienda Shakahola hawakuenda kutafuta kifo and unfortunately they got death and I'm not even sure they are ready to meet their master in heaven. Huyu mama akamwambia Yesu, "You guys worship in Jerusalem. Na mnasema huko ndiyo ibada inatakiwa kupatikana ibada. Na sisi tunaabudu Mungu katika mlima huu and you say we don't worship." Yesu akamwambia, "Stop those nonsense. Achana na hiyo nonsense." Akamwambia, "Saa yaja na ndio hii ambaye wamwabudua Mungu." Hawata muabudu kwa mlima huu wala Yerusalemu. Let's conclude what Jesus said. Wanao muabudu Mungu watamuabudu wapi? Watamuabudu wapi? Katika roho na katika nini? Kweli. Bwana asifiwe. This woman tells Jesus I'm deeply religious. How many of us are deeply religious? Mwalimu wangu wa theolojia alinifundisha that sincerity is not the measure of the truth. You can be sincere but be sincerely wrong. This woman was sincere in her worship. Wale wanaenda shakahola they are sincere in their worship. But they are sincerely wrong. Because while they should be living today to enjoy the life that God has given they chose to give up life because of lie and they were sincere and anataka kusema kwa huu mkutano kwamba sincerity is not the criteria that you are in the right place you can be sincere and sincerely wrong ladies and gentlemen i don't know kama tunapelekana hata wale wa shakahola they are sincere they believe they are worshiping God. They believe they are going to meet Jesus in heaven. Huyu mama akamwambia Yesu, "Sisi tunaabudu katika mlima huu. 
na nyinyi wa Yahudi mnasema ibada inatoka Yerusalemu. Yesu akamwambia muamini mama na kuambia sasa. Saa yaja na ndio hii ili kwamba wale wamwabudu wa Mungu wamwabudu Mungu kwa kweli. Let's repeat together. Wamwabudu Mungu kwa kweli na kwa uzima. I can't say much. And this burial ya mzee Ngeng tumekuja hapa wakati tunamzika tukijua kwamba sio yeye tunamwangazia kwa sasa ili hali tunajiangazia wenyewe and i'm posing these four three questions to you before i sit down and allow other businesses to continue number one, what are your comfort areas are you comfortable in hostility I challenge you to be uncomfortable. If you've never greeted your brother for the last six months or one year, today please can you just give them a call and tell them we cannot live this way. Because Yesu akamwambia mama, nipe maji ninywe. Tafuta penetration point to the other person na muwe pamoja. Ya pili, comfort in false satisfaction right now in Kenya suicide cases are increasing and zinakuja kwa sababu watu walienda kutafuta kutoshelezwa ndani ya vitu ambavyo havitoshelezi some, some of them are looking for it in drugs some of them are looking them in alcohol Wengine wanatafuta vitoshelezi ndani ya vitu vingine and you cannot get it. Some of them are looking it in giving up their bodies and yet those cannot satisfy. What satisfactions are you trying to look by being in those comfort zones that na cannot provide for that? Ya mwisho comfort in empty religion how many of us are in churches today and the only reason we know that we believe in god is because we go to church is because we are baptized is because we bear christian names mama kaambiwa na yesu saa yaja na ndio hii ile ambao wamwabudua mungu Hawata muabudu kwa mlima huu ama katika Yerusalemu. It is not in AIC or in Catholic or in PCA. But we only get the true knowledge and true faith after we get the truth and we are indwelt by the Spirit of God. Huyu mama aliishi in three comforts I, as I conclude comfort in established hostility Jesus came to bridge the gap she lived in comfort in false satisfaction Christ provided true satisfaction she was comfortable she had comfort in false religion Christ provided true religion Let's stand up and pray. Baba wetu katika jina la mokozi Yesu Kristo katika maziko haya ya mzee huyu wetu Richard Nyeny ambaye umemuondoa katika maisha haya yetu tunayoendelea nayo. Katika hiyo miaka umempa hata ikazidi ile miaka sabini tunazozijua umetuleta hapa kwenye maziko haya tusimwangazie yeye kwa sababu yake imeisha tujiangazie sisi na tuone tunaishi maisha gani ikiwa tunaishi maisha ya huyu mama ambaye alistarehe ndani ya chuki akastarehe ndani ya mambo ambayo hayangempatia utoshelezi wa maisha 
na ambaye alitosheka ndani ya dini tupu ambaye haikumaliza chuki haikumpatia mahali ambapo atatosheleza maisha yake utusaidie siku hii tuweke maisha yetu mahali ambapo Mungu tutaishi kwa amani na wenzetu tutatosheka kama vile roho mtakatifu atakavyo tutuongoza katika mboma zetu na katika maisha yetu na utusaidie maana utatupatia dini iliyo ya kweli na kwa sasa umetuambia kwamba dini hiyo ni wale wa kuabudua kwa kweli kwa sababu ukasema wewe ndiyo kweli njia na uzima na pia wa kuabudu kwa roho kwa sababu ni roho ambaye hutuonyesha dhambi na hutuleta kwako utusaidie tunapoingia kwenye maziko haya tubadilishwe kama vile huyu mama alipokuisha kubadilika akauacha mtungi akaenda akawaleta wenzake wa Samaria na neno lako likasema wakabarikiwa wengi wakahubiriwa na wakaokoka utusaidie Yesu tukiondoka hapa turudishe ushuhuda unaostahili katika makanisa yetu na vijiji vyetu kwa maana tuwaumba katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na kiongozi wetu amen bwana awabariki sana Sunday Reverend tushangilie bwana kwa mkono. Yeah, thank you so much. Karibu MC kwa sababu of time. Asante sana kanisa. Let us appreciate the church tafadhali tupigie tu kanisa makofi mazuri kwa mahubiri hayo mazuri na mafundisho mazuri ambayo tumepatiwa. Uliza jirani yako unaishi vizuri na jirani? Muulize unaishi vizuri na ndugu yako? Amejibu nini? Naona hata watu hawaongei na jirani, wamehubiri saa hii my friend. Na bado pia hutaki kusikia mahubiri. Amen. Kwa hivyo tunaendelea, tunataka kuendelea na ratiba kuanzia pale. Asante sana kanisa kwa mafunzo hayo mazuri na mahubiri mazuri. Wakati mhubiri alipokuwa anaendelea, kuna wageni wengine waliendelea kufika. We want to appreciate all the family members ambao wamefika. Jamii, tunasema asantini sana nyote kufika kuja kuomboleza mzee wetu. Pia tunatambua uwepo na ujio wa MCO wa maeneo haya, Mheshimiwa Andrew Sichangi Kutitila. Karibu sana MCO wa Sehendu pia tunatambua uwepo na ujio wa wageni uh, the leaders of the unions different unions that are here niliona viongozi wa NAT wako hapa tunasema asante sana na all the other unions and the professionals ambao wako hapa wakulima wafanyabiashara marafiki we recognize you maaskofu na wachungaji kutoka madhehebu mengine mbalimbali mbali. tunasema asanteni sana na pamoja na majirani kufika kuja kulipa pamoja na sisi those ones who are following us live on youtube You can send your condolences message or texts through the same link that we have provided and thank you so much for following us wherever you are. Asanteni sana. Ningependa kumuita Mama Mary Chemarer kwa niaba ya majirani aseme kwa ufupi tafadhali. Mama Mary Chemarer aweze kufuatwa na rafiki mmoja wa mzee anaitwa Paul Chesemet. Tafadhali tufuatane hivyo kwa haraka kwa sababu ya muda tu tunene kwa ufupi. Asante sana kwa watoto ambao umesimama na baba yao mpaka wamesindikia wamesindikisha akiwa safi sana. Wakati mama aliwacha hawa na baba yao 
Hawakuwaacha baba nyuma walisigana na baba na wakaendelea na maisha. Hivyo ndio nashukuru watoto hapa sana. Na kitu ambaye naambia na nyinyi mukae salama. Vile baba aliongoza nyinyi kwa neno la Mungu, msiwaje hiyo neno yake, msimame na mshikane mmoja. Najua wamewacha nyinyi bila kuambia nyinyi nitaenda leo. Lakini Mungu alijua siku ya baba. Sasa mkubwa hapa mwenye taongoza nyinyi, Mungu aingie kati yake ili asimame na kuwajunga. Ninachua weldo ndio kiongozi yenu sasa. Musione vile hako ndio msema aweze ongosha. Ataongoza kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa sababu yeye ni mkubwa, mtafuata yeye, msikilize yeye na mfuate maneno yake. Asante ni wasiane wetu. Kuwa moja na mchunge ndugu yenu aongoze vyema. Najua ataongoza. Asante. Asante. Bwana Paul. Bwana Paul, tafadhali. Wakati rafiki huyu bwana Paul atakapomaliza, nitatutenda kwa familia moja kwa moja kwa sababu ya muda na nitaomba Auntie Grace mahali alipo pamoja na Auntie Edna watakuwa wa kwanza wasongee hapa karibu alafu pamoja na Uncle James Boyon pamoja na Lea Ngen wasongee hapa karibu sana kwa sababu ya muda tafadhali eh, kanisa andalisi wageni wote ambao wamekuja kutoka sehemu mbalimbali hebu tusalamiane nina msalimi nyinyi katika china la Yesu nikisema amuchamboni pia mimi sitambu kwa jina ila na ninatoa kwanza rambi rambi zangu binafsi na family ya kwamba pole pole sana kwa watoto wetu wa rafiki yangu bwana Richard Nyei pole ni sana e, ya pili ningependa kusema ya kwamba Richard alikuwa rafiki yangu ya karibu Tulianza urabiki huu kutoka mbali 1965 tukiwa Bomet tukakaa pamoja mpaka wakati shamba hili lilipopatikana Richard tulikuja pamoja kununua hili shamba naweza kusema Richard na family yake ambaye wote wamelala mama Esther Ngeny walikuwa watu wa pumulifu na watu wa bidii kufanya bidii. Kwa kuwa ninakumbuka wakati moja nilitembelea hawa kwa shamba lao ya kwanza huko Chebole scheme. Hilo shamba ilikuwa ni changwa mtubu ukikanyaka unaingia machi. Nikamwambia rafiki yangu nini? Akasema ile shamba tutapata kitali nitaenda ili nichunge watoto wangu hii shamba awezi kunifaidi na kweli alikucha alikuwa mtu ya kwanza kukucha katika shamba hili akaishi kibagenge kwa wakina Cherujo Julius Cherujo na Ruben Cherujo na mambo mengi yalifanyika hata huko lakini hawa walifumulia si kama wengine ambao tulikucha pamoja wakati tulipokucha pande hii hata wa mama ya wengine walikataa kusema tuwezi enda kitali huko watoto wanakulwa na watu, watu naitwa Nyarwanda waka wakakataa wakawaja mashamba hapa lakini Richard na Esther walipumulia hata walipokuwa eh, kibagenge shida ilitokea lakini alifumulia kwa hivyo mimi nakuja sasa kwa watoto wetu Poma hili ya Richard ni poma ambayo imepangwa. Iko kwa tarakimu sawa sawa imepangwa na huyu mzee ambaye amelala. Amelala hapo lakini hakuchukua chochote lakini mpango hiko. Formula ya kasi yote iko hapa shamba hili. Kwa hivyo watoto wetu mshikane pamoja. Mfanye kasi pamoja katika hili shamba italisha vichukuu wenu na hata kichukuu wa wale wengine msitubutu 
kusema tunausa shamba ngeni alikuwa na mambo mengi ambayo alikuwa anasumbua yeye hata kusomesha nyinyi lakini hakuhusa shamba hakuhusa na saa hii wengine wanaweza kusema ati mtoto anataka aenda kusoma mimi nataka ugusa kidogo la usihuse kwanza <laughs> ninashukuru nina nyinyi pia kwa kulinda huyu mzee wakati Esther alipowaacha yeye mlilinda huyu mzee akakaa kabisa kwa heshima yake ambayo alistahili nilikuwa hapa Jumapili kwa boma hii hapa ni analipikiri ni mimi ni mzee wa mwisho kusungumza na yeye akiwa hai nikaacha tukakula ugali hapa kwake asubuhi na nikakunywa chai na fikiri msichana mmoja alikuwa aliniona tukasungumza mengi na yeye alikuwa smart na kaunda suti yake kama kawaida nikaona ya kwamba huyu mzee analindwa alindwe tu namna hii kwa hivyo watoto wetu wa Richard msitupotu fuata formula ya Richard ikiwa biashara amepanga biashara iko huko mmechama tu huko fanya biashara ikiwa kilimo lima hapa iko kilimo ya kutosha na shukuru nyinyi mmeanza hata kupanda miwa <laughs> nilifurahi kwa hivyo endelea hivyo hivyo mshikane na kufanya kazi msifanye ili mkuche tena muwe watu ya kuomba chakula kama wengine wakati huu tunaona ambao walichesea mashamba yao wanatembea kuomba vyakula msikue waombachi muko na resources ya kutosha katika shamba hili ya kuweza kufaiti nyinyi kwa maisha yenu kwa haya machache hama mengi ninasema asante Mungu akubariki Huyu alikuwa ni agement kwa hivyo singe muharakisha sana. Uh, kuna jirani pia na rafiki mmoja kwa haraka tafadhali kwa sababu ya muda Zakayo Koech pamoja na John Chebabun tafadhali kama wamefika wasongee hapa. Zakayo Koech na John Chebabun tafadhali kama wapo wasongee hapa kwa haraka tu kwa sababu ya muda. Pia natambua uwepo wa assistant chief wetu wa maeneo haya ndugu Martin karibu sana assistant chief na pia the last one officer kwa ofisi ya governor ndugu Tony Omari karibu sana Hamjambo ambao mlesa wote na salimu katika china la Yesu hamjambo eh mimi ninaanza kusema hivi Richard alikuwa mtu ambaye tunasikili sana sana na yeye ni riga yangu hata nimepoteza rafiki yangu mkubwa Richard ni mtu ambaye ni mwaminifu alikuwa mwaminifu katika Yesu Kristo alikuwa mwaminifu kwa kasi yake yote ukitaka kuachana na Richard utanganye alikuwa hapana penda na mtu ile ana anafanya kazi ya Mungu sana na yeye anapenda kuomba alikuwa naomba Mungu saa yote naomba Mungu na tena tulikuwa na shiriki pamoja na yeye tulikuwa na keti katika AIC kono hii yeye wakati uchaguzi alikuwa anachakua mimi kama kama chama yao na Richard ni naibu yangu na tukafanya kazi ya Mungu na mimi nasema ukweli hata watoto yake nachua Richard tulikuwa na sigili sana sana Richard wakati kila kitu ambaye tunabanya kwake mimi siwezi kosa ilikuwa tunakucha hapa hata watoto yake na shuhudia akiwa kubeana watoto mimi naenda kuona mali ya Richard tunaandamana akiwa kwangu tunaandamana na Richard 
Tukiletia wasichana vichana wetu Richard tambaye baka hakikishe Tumepeana nini Tumepanya nini Na Richard ni mutu muaminifu Sasa kwa hivyo Watoto yangu Kaa bisuri Ukiwa na mneno lolote Ulisa mimi Siri yote tulikuwa naongea na Richard Na tuliongea msuri Na mutu Richard ni muaminifu Anavenda kristo Baka ambaye ichuzi Anaenda Akiwa na Yesu Mimi nachua kabisa Kwa sababu tuliketi pamoja Katika AIC kono hii Pamoja Na ninasema Asande watoto yetu Asande kila mtu ambaye nagucha Hata nimeboteza sana Rafiki yangu mkubwa Ambaye tunakaa kwa kanisa Tunakaa kwa nyumbani Tunashiriki pamoja Na ni hayo tu Naomba eh, Kuseme sore sana Pole sana watoto Pole sana kanisa Pole sana gichichi yetu Ni hayo tu ni Mimi nimekaa ni sasa Akiwa mimi Ninatamani Kama ngekua na Richard Asande sana Jina langu John Chebabun Asante sana baba John Chebabun Asante zaidi Zakayo Koech tafadhali Zakayo Koech Hayuko uh, Ameondoka Kwa hivyo tutakuwa tunaendelea Pole pole tu Tutakuwa tunajianda kukaribisha familia Familia watakuwa na zungumza Lakini wakati walikuwa na zungumza Pia tunapokea ujio Wa the managing director Kenya Pipeline Mr. Joe Sang Karibu sana, karibu sana maeneo haya I know he's part of the family, a member of the family But also a leader in the society We appreciate your coming Asante, asante zaidi Familia, pia Mwishimu kutitila ameweza kuomba Ameomba ruhusa kuomba atoe tu pole Maana anaomba kuna matanga Kama tatu katika wodi yake Kwa hivyo ameomba tu kwa heshima tafadhali Dakika moja, aseme tu pole e, Peke yake tu aseme pole Ili kuomba heze kufikia Zile jamii zingine ambazo pia zimepotesha Tafadhali mwishmiu Kanisa letu <coughs> Da AIC Familia ambaye mepoteza baba yetu Kiongozo na ndugu zangu Pamoja na dada zangu Na wote ambao mekuja kufariji familia hii Ninasema pole Mimi kwa majina na hitu wa mwishmiu kutitila Nimeomba turuuza Kwa sababu niko na matanga karibu tatu Kule chalicha na kule imani pia Mimi mzee ni namujua in person Wakati nilikuja kwa soka hapa Almost 99 Mzee alikuwa na duka Na wazee walikuwa na maduka hapo Alikuwa yeye, mzee ngeni Pamoja na mzee sakayo Tulisoma vitu mingi sana kwa hawa wazee Kwa sababu walikuwa wanapatia hata watoto yao nafasi wakiuza kwa maduka yao ambayo sio raisi na ikafanya watoto wakakuwa na yeye heshima na wakafata nyayo ya wazazi Mimi ningependa tu kuambia dada zangu pamoja na ndugu zangu ambaye ni wawili muko na bahati mumekaa na mzee paka wakati huu wakati ulisindikisha mama nyinyi muliendelea kulea mzee Ni achali tu ndiye mechukua mzee But kama inge kwa achali Ninafikiri wa mulikuwa kebebo Na every time I want to appreciate our sisters Kila wakati wa muna kuja muna angalia mzee Iyo ni kitu sawadi pake yake Ambaye munga atamurudishia After mama kuenda Muliendelea kutunza mzee kwa hali na madi So mimi nataka kumuombea pia Ya kwamba muendelea kuwa na uu moyo Na saizi muweze kuchiunga pamoja Ili muweze kuleana Kwa sababu Mumepoteza papa Na hata pia mulipoteza mama So wakati mefika ni last mamuruti pamoja Na mutekeme mungu Kupoteza wazazi sio raisi Samo wazi tulipoteza wote Na hata kama mzee ameseeka na managani 
huyo ni baba yako kila wakati anakupatia mawazi mawaida mazuri mimi nataka kumalizia hapa nikisema tu ya kwamba nilitoongea na gavana kuna hospitali ambao wanafungua kule e, Sirende ya Katholiki ambaye ako na waziri ya afya ambaye ni tata yetu anatoka kuodi hii Susan na kumicha lakini alisema kwamba akimaliza mapema ye mwenyewe ili person atakuja kufariji familia hii wakati ya mchango sikuwa nataka kuachia familia mchango wangu wa shilingi 1500 na Mungu wa amani aweza kumbariki nataka kumalizia nikisema hii barabara nafikiria hii barabara wakati nilikuwa MCA nililima hii barabara nikamwaka mara mpaka uko mbele hapa ni kimini ni ward badi huwa nakuja kufanya huu kazi kwa sababu ninajua kwamba watu wengi wananipigia kura mahali pale ama namna gani na nafikiria kwamba nitakusaini wako wanamwaga mara mkule chalicha walimaliza barabara ya mkuyuni wakimaliza ya chalicha na ya wa mkoto nitakuja ku revive hii barabara tena nimeona iko mbaya kidogo ili tuweze kurekebisha watu wetu waweze kupita Mungu wa amani aweze kumbariki Asante sana mheshimiwa nataka tuweze kuimba wimbo wale ambao wanajivitabu katika mikono yao wimbo nambari 80 wa muendea Yesu kwa kusifiwa ili tuweze kupata nafasi ya kukaribisha members of the family so that they can pay their tributes tutaanza na mashangazi jinsi nilivyosema kwa hivyo tupate wimbo huo tafadhali you can follow the song kwa vitabu vyetu tukukaribisha members of the family waje wapeane pole zao na ntanza pa na aunt grace pamoja na aunt edna wafuate uh, alafu um, tutakuwa na uncle james boyon pamoja na lea ngen na ukifika kama kuna other members of the family tafadhali you just introduce them alafu hawa watasema kwa niaba ya wengine tafadhali kwa sababu ya muda hawa ambao nimewaita tafadhali wasongee hapa just introduce the, the others alafu wewe utasema kwa niaba ya wengine ili kwamba tuende kwa haraka kidogo kwa hivyo auntie grace kama uko karibu tafadhali pamoja na auntie edna tafadhali wasongee hapa ili kwamba waweze kunena Uh, my brother Julius mratibu mwenzangu upande wa chini utakuona nisaidia tu kupata kujua kama wamefika kama wajafika tujue ni nani tunampa alafu inakuwa ni vizuri ndugu yangu Julius naomba usongee hapa naomba usongee hapa tu ya yeah, nataraji wale wageni wapo hivyo basi tafadhali njo ili tupate kwa kwa muda anti grace na Edna tafadhali njoni ili pate kuzungumza kwa niaba ya wale wageni wengine tafadhali tujuzwe kama wako mbali basi tujue Ah, 
Naona kesha fika Wewe ni anti Let's go Uwashwa Kunena Uwashwa Kongoi <laughs> Lakini kwa mwagi 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 ya katu Kwa mwagi ni iti la ochu Kilo ngiti vya nga alie Ako ichova Kwa ndanyon Aka hamenyo Kwa tuwa isa kse tuwa tuwa Apara ka angala lo Turuti nga kwa siri gili Kwa le kot Kwa Ansa nipa tukuk tukul Kwa tukul ngwa hake Eee Kwa ngwe Mwagi tinye nga alie cha Kwa ngwe Kwa ngwe no Ari ila kiti nipa tukuk chwa nanyo Ingi mau pil, aku harus kini coba memikir. Eh, tuh cuma nanyung kiri bagai aru bagai, aku kiri bagai ini baru ini luar. Egi mutu anggora, kau tu kenyu kiri kiri mengi netu lindri. Kau kongkoi kongkoi kau kau ni entuk kau kau ya itu. Kongkoi lawu cuk, aku harus kini coba kongkoi lawu cuk. Kini net coba lawu cuk. Tiny lawu cuk tak mungkin tak coba. Baik kau nato, aku kan nap tak coba. Mami kita kan, kau nap tak coba. Aku yang kata kau nukau kerja macam kau le, kau win. Mami kena uru tinggung ambil dia, mami jawab aku bawa tinggung. Kete ni mana? Embi gapkan ni saya. Am doi tu, am doi tu kau bikin horror horror. Bikin tu kau ni bi, kau bikin muti bi, engkau ni tak jawab. Aku ni ni tak jawab. Kau kau ni kau cuci jawab orang ini lah. Kau kau cuci jawab, kau ni tisu tisu cuci horror. Kau cakap tu cuci horror orang kata sah. Mami kita ni lagu. Kau ni tu cuci jawab tu tu cuci cuci jawab. Kau tu cuci ni jangan kau ikut mahu aku kau. Mungkah kau ini nenek aku nak uin kau nyok? Aku ini nenek aku nak kuan dah nyok, kuan dah tu kau, en tu kau. Kau 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 nyok eh, kau kau nyok ni yang ada kita, kau kau nyok. Asante sana, Auntie Grace, ambai nindugu ye, Mze Richard Ngeng, napiya ni mama ya Henry Kositan kulembele, ame syukuru. Wa watoto wa boma hili na anashukuru kwamba kazi yote imetimia vyema kwamba maombolezo wamefanya na mbwana amewajalia na anasihi kwamba watoto wa boma hili tukaribie kanisa ili mambo yaendelee anasema kwamba ni ndugu kwa damu na vivyo hivyo ni jirani yake kwa sehemu ya ununuzi wa shamba kwa basi tunashukuru na asante sana nitampisha anti edna ili apate pia kutoa rambi rambi zake karibu mama bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena sona moji jehova kongoi imbe tunimnye amun kingele an kasazire de tabtu jone ko betunemnye amun ena tebe nemnye ne gigoji Jadi kalau jika Jehova, aku cakap Jehova uzi, kau bayi bayi tu mesti ngamun, bayi sih nampi, naga agil, kau agil ya ibu tabrain, naga seserete nih, kalau zaman kuangit, en nak tuh pi, en kau bete nih ngamun, en kau tanam malu, kau kira kau se, an cemeh tabrain doai nendas, kau kini kau agil buang jangan agil muawan, kau kini naga soalinan anam. Ngoj ni nak muai biju, kau kira kas? Eh, muan dah missing. Agi hari nak kau lihat jauh bagai gaya kan? Namun, aku nak lihat jauh ni nak kau ni nak tu je, kau tu ni nak missing. Jauh ni nak mami nak kira kau. Kau nak muai jauh bagai kau kira biju, amun. Kau aku mungkin ini ada kisah sedih tapi tak berani. Kau suka jauh jauh mana ni kau ni? Amun, eh kau tak nak ingin kemut? Jauh jauh saya ni kau mati ni, kau. Kau kau ngerti ni kan? Kau kosis sendiri yang missing. Kau kau ada kosis sendiri, kau kau mnyak law kira. Kau kau aku mnyak law, kau mau mau yang sabi kira. Yang nomi tua. 
Asante tumpigie makofi anti Edina kwa rambi rambi ambazo amezitoa kwa kifupi tu ameshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wakati huu na anashukuru pia kwa ajili ya marehemu kwamba alikaa vyema na watu kwa utiifu wa Mwenyezi Mungu na hivyo basi furaha yake ni kwamba alimfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu na zaidi ya yote anaomba kwamba watoto wa marehemu wapate kukaa kwa amani kwa upendo kwa ushirikiano ili watimize ile heshima ambayo mzee alikuwa nayo zaidi ya yote anasema kwamba tumuombe maana hata na yeye pia ajisiki vyema japo kwa mwili wake si sawa lakini amejikakamua kuja kwa ajili ya matanga ya ndugu yake kwa basi hayo ndio yaliyotoka kwa uh, dadake marehemu ambaye ni Edna na hivyo basi tunashukuru uh, mbali na hao kwa upande huo huo wa mzee pia tuna James Boyon tafadhali James njo ili utoe rambi rambi zako na iwapo kuna familia kwa jumla unaweza kuwatambulisha alafu we utaongea kwa niaba yao mpigieni makofi mzee huyu kwa nafasi hii eh waombelezaji wote eh haduhuri kama hii nafurahi kusimama mbele yenu na kuwashukuru sana kwa kuja kuomboleza eh kwenda kwao kwake kwa baba yetu Richard na kwa upande wa pili hata ushukuru baba yetu mkubwa mzee Michael kwa kujaribu kabisa kutoka kiricho na unajua ubali wa kiricho huko mpaka hapa lakini amejaribu na amefika tunamshukuru sasa uh, nafasi yangu ni kuwajulisha nyinyi kujua Richard ni nani si mnayejua Richard kila mtu hapa sasa nataka kuwajulisha Richard ni nani kati ya jamii yake na mjue jamii yake na mwisho mjue watoto yake si hapo itakuwa sawa asante sana basi nitaanza na vile tumejua Richard ametoka upande wa kilicho na ameishi hapa na nyinyi miaka hizo zote za maisha yake nataka kuwajulisha sasa kwanza kwa kitu naitwa clan sisi wa Kalenjin tuko na maclans lakini tunatoka kwa clan moja naitwa Kiblegenek kila mmoja wetu ambaye anajua ni Kiblegenek asimame tu pahali ya ako Kiblegeni indeta gatukul steleleni emio Kiblegeni indet Kiblegeni indet Hata kwa aluya kama iko eh sipo 
si mama wato zetu eh si mama kama unajua umekanyaka boma hii wewe ni kiblegeni ndeti bas bas sisi sote tuseme po eh kati ya sasa hapo kwa nini nimetaja hiyo clan nishauri nimeona chairman yetu ya clan amesindikisa baba yetu kutoka kiricho Asante sana bwana chairman. Haya ya kufuatilia hiyo Richard amesaliwa kutoka jamii inaitwa Kirui. Kirui, Oriob Kirui. Na Oriob Kirui ambaye nasema ni wale Oriob Kirui chepkeoi. Simameni. Chepkeoi. Ah ah. Chepkeoi. Chepkeoi. Richard baba zao alikuwa wawili. Mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Jepkeoi, Arab Kurui, alikuwa mdogo ya Kimngeny, Arab Kurui. Na Kimngeny Arab Kurui ndio amesaa Richard Kitenda mimba ya mandugu zake ambaye nitawataja sasa lakini kabla hayo naogoka watoto ya kimngei sasa ambaye tuko boma hii sasa kimngei kutoka oriop kimngei kuja watoto ya michael grubi hiyo mpaka watoto yetu simamini ama mungekuja hapa mbele Eh wakuje mbele za sauri hiyo ni family ambaye inahitajika hapa. Bas unajua kunba kila mtu ambaye anashikwa na damu hiyo ya Kimngeny Arab Kurui. Baba yetu tu peke yake Michael Ngeny nitaenda simama pale karibu na yeye. Ndio mjue ni nani. Bas. Ni wewe ndio. Unaona huyu mzee? Hii ndio engine ya hiyo family sasa. Bas. Sijagusa family ya Richard hapa Yaani watoto wa Richard Usimame tu pale mko hapo hapa eh hey, kero Family Arija tunasimama tu hapa. Watu wa Sigendo. Hii sasa ni family ya Kimngeny Arab Kurui. Hiyo sasa ni baba ya Richard kabisa. Na Richard ndio kitenda mimba ya hiyo family. Sasa inakayo itakayofuata sasa. Kaogeri umeona? Mita tenganisha moja hapa. Huyu ni mama yetu. Huyu ndiye anajunga huyu mzee, Mike. Huyu ni mama yetu mdogo. Eh? Si mnakwanga naye namna hiyo? Bas. Oh, wale. Bas. Nimesemekana mtakuja kwa hiki kundi. Tafadhali kwa dakika moja tu. sasa wote ndio watoto wa Kimngeny Arab Kurui Alafu sasa kabla ya kuja kufikia watoto ya Richard 
ambaye watapaki kuongea mwisho sasa watoto ya Michael Arap Ngei babaki hapa sasa ndio eh fastball ya kimngenya Arap Kuri kwa kama hiyo yote ongetuseni taita pa kila kutoka mpaka kutoka juu mpaka mwisho kama hiyo licheke na juu kwaite kabri ya toba anyu akobeka mcho tukul cho bas bas kwa sisi wa kalenjin hata kama dada ni mkubwa kwa sherehe kama hii tunaweka nani kwanza mwanaume mzee michael ndiye ametangulia dada yake kwa hii sherehe sasa ambaye itakai hii ni michael sasa yani kijana wa pili wa uh, kimngenya rap kuri ndio hawa sasa haya waweke na hii sasa ambaye nitaita sasa ni dada yao mkubwa naitwa Recho Recho kirwa gite Recho Kaituk Hiyo ni dada yao ya Richard ya kwa kina Richard sasa alafu muelewe nilisema kutangulia kusema muelewe Richard Saidi ndio hapo sasa hii ni watoto ya dada ya Richard mkubwa hakukuja wote shauri ya umbali ya kuja pande hii bas watakayofuata sasa ni ya nani ya Edward Edward Ngeny Edward Ngeny Edward Ngeny wapi mama Odabule, abule, ngoro, Collins. Oh, Bas. Hawa ndio ya ndugu ya Richard ambaye naitwa Edward Ngei. Ndio hawa. Bas, santi. Eh? Oh, picha picha. Nimechukua muda lakini tufumulie shauri hii siku ilikuwa yao ama si ni sawa Asante Abu Darda ni rubu huko Akiwa ni kabe ndani Ne Sasa Grace Grace na timu yako sasa Leo kwa one by one bengo ah si family watabaki juma hawa ndio wamwisho si tulisema richard ndio atabaki kukamilisha kila kitu si hapo mnajua huyu mmoja si mnajua bas hii ni part of richard ngeng Bas yule mama aliongea hapa mara ya kwanza hawa sasa ni familia yake sasa wengine wanaishi hapa Bukwet na wengineko Bas unajua sisi wa Kalenjin tunatembea na wale wameoa watoto wetu hata nyinyi mnafanya hivyo Eh Amutembea nao Oh oh <laughs> si ni tofauti <laughs> Kadem mabendo tazanika. Aya, eh anayefuata ni ngo. Edina. Edina.
basi yule mama aliongea mwisho leo hii si ni huyu basi hii ni familia yao santi asikumbuke basi sasa tarudi sasa kwa familia richard na familia richard yawe nafikiri watakuja huko tu mjeni hapa pamoja na wale wote wameoleka hapa kwa hii family sana so go in baje choi sasa aendelee kutoka hapo familia kabrichet sasa vile mnavyoona watoto yao wako sawa na nawapongeza na hao shauri haonyeshi eh, kupuchika kwa jauri ya kukosa baba yao hawa ni wakristo kamili na Mungu amewasaidia hawa asante sana asante na vazi lioko ni kuomba sasa ule uh, chairman yetu ya kiblegeni aongee ako wapi yesu familia our late mother Esther wakuje huko tafadhali kamuko hapa kwa dakika moja tu ili tuende laini nyingine family yote yakina mama Esther liko vango moja wa
rebellion kaba kamwe o eh chi ne kenyo nebu nebunu karabel karabelion eh kaba kana mwa mama esta kaba ko kilo eh bas ko Haya haya hao ambao wamesimama mbele zetu ni jamii ya mama wa boma hili B Esther Ngeny. Hivyo basi wanaokuja hawa ni jamii ya mams side. Sawa sawa. Alafu kuna Ali Sigilai aliteulia wataongea kwa niaba yao na pia Simon Sang. Asante. Basi kupitanga hiyo ina pazi kama ungalala ngui nime ไอ้ลอกเกียงนอยตู่ก็ไว้ๆเอาไว้กิจโอบะกองก้วยกองก้วยเองโกกวนนี่อมุนเกียวมียักลอกโอจุอมัวที่นี่กองก้วยกะเ
e, kuna wengine ambao pia hawakuweza kufika wote wamesema pole e, jambo lingine ambalo ningeweza tu kuongezea uh, ni kwa hawa watoto wa uh, late Richard now and uh, our sister the late Esther na wata, tunawatakia mema e, nilikuwa huku juzi na nimekuwa nikifuatilia hata kwa simu na najua e, kati ya hao wing, e, watoto kuna viongozi wengi hawatashindwa e, kupanga nafikiri tutatarajia ama tutazidi e, kusikia yale ambayo ni mema ambao wameweza kupanga e, kama familia najua watasikizana watapeleka kazi mbele na hakikisha kwamba wale watoto wote ambao e, hao wote wanakuwa nao wameweza kusoma wameweza kufanya bidii na kuhakikisha kwamba hii familia imeendelea vizuri mahali kuna shida nafikiri e, tutaambiana na kwa uwezo wote tuweze kusaidiana nafikiri ni hayo tu na watakia mema poleni thank you asante tuwapigie makofi jamii kwa upana kwa kazi nzuri ambayo wameifanya ya kutambulisha na pia kutoa pole zao hivyo basi nitasema kwamba hao wametuwakilisha sawa na katika kufanya vile naomba watu walioko hapa hivi tuseme pole sehemu hii semeni pole pole kwa jamii ya ngenyi alafu semi tuseme pia nasi pole asante upande huu tuseme pole asante hivyo basi nitampisha mfawidhi mwenzangu bwana Emmanuel aendelee kutoka pale na wakati huo huo atakuwa akitambulisha pia wageni wote ambao wamekuja hasa wale kutoka Nairobi ama kwa asante na Mungu awabariki sana Asante sana mfawidhi mwenza ndugu yangu Julius tunaendelea vizuri Asante sana watu wote ambao wamefika kuja kuomboleza na sisi marafiki wa jamii hii kuna wale ambao wanafanya kazi na watoto wa mji huu na wamefika we want to appreciate you kuambia asanteni sana kwa kufika kulipa moja na sisi and we also want to appreciate those ones who are still following us those ones who are watching asanteni sana for your condolence messages that you are sending. Kwa hivyo nataka kuchukua nafasi nipatie wimbo mzuri sana nimkaribishe my sister Caroline akuje atusome iolojia, atusome iolojia, alafu baadaye tutawaleta watoto waseme their tributes, alafu tutakuwa tunaendelea na ibada. Kwa hivyo wimbo mzuri tafadhali. and the team just all of us to kuje tu tuje tu sote watoto wa baba tuje sote tu so that we can read the eulogy and give our tributes together watoto wa baba tuje tu sote tafadhali
asifiwe asifiwe tena mimi kwa majina naitwa Joyce Ngeny hiyo ni official name but naitwa Joyce Koske nita introduce familia yetu na kila mmoja asimame na watoto wake nyuma ya watoto wakwe nyuma ya wazazi nitaanzia welcome Eh hey, in order soma yology ya dad The late his birth The late Richard Cheriot Ngeny was born in 1936 to the late Kip Ngeny Arab Kirui and the late Mrs Ruth Kirui of Chemoiwa Bureti Kericho County Married and children He got married to the late Esther C Richard in February 1967 They were blessed with nine children. The late David Kipngeno, Weldon Kitale, Joyce, Helen, Emily, Alfred, Caroline, Vivian, and Judith. Their grandchildren are Abel, Vero, the late Duncan, Beryl, Sharon, Vlea, Lea, Naomi, Brian, Evans, Fidel, Victor, Alin, Chelangat, Dylan, Alion and Lynn. Great grandfather to Alfie, Archie and Netai. He was the father-in-law to Annet, the late Julius, Nelson and the late Emily. He was brother to the late Rachel Kalia, Michael Ngeny, Edward Ngeny, Grace Kositany and Edna Bor. He was brother-in-law to Alice Gilai. Kibuli Sang, Raeli Lesan, Jane Bartai, the late John Sang, Wilson Sang, Sarah Bore, the late Elijah Sang, Ruth Cheriot, the late Samuel Sang, Simeon Sang, William Sang, Sophie Chebochok, Ben Sang, Weldon Sang, Jafet Sang, Edwin Sang, Edna Rono, David Sang, Caroline Langat, Joseph Sang, Emily Jo Sang, Janet, Josephine, Josephine Koske, Johnston Sang, Nancy, Evelyn, Beatrice Cheriot, Vincent Sang and Rennie Sang. Education and career. He started his education in 18, 1946. Sorry. He started his education in 1946 at Getaway Primary School for eight years. Thereafter, he taught for one year as an untrained teacher at Kabartegan and Kavi Menjeyue Primary Schools. He later joined Bomet Technical School and trained for carpentry. After completion, he worked together with his brother Michael Ngeny in building and construction business in Kericho County. 
Richard Ngeny moved to Kitale with his family in 1972. Health, health and sickness. In 2010, he was diagnosed with cancer at Eldoret Hospital and has been on medication for the same ever since. In 2016, he was diagnosed with diabetes and subsequently other health complications for which he was treated by different doctors, including the late Dr. Ruto Kitale, the late, uh, sorry, I'm so sorry, Dr. Murgor Kitale, Dr. Mugalo of El Rech Hospital, Dr. Manuthu of Kitale, Dr. Kaguri of Kitale, Dr. F. Koech of Eldoret, Dr. Kirwa of Kitale, Dr. Mundia of Nairobi, and Dr. Rono of Kitale. On Tuesday the 13th June, the Tuesday the 13th June began as a normal day for him. He woke up, took his breakfast and his medication, then he left home and was, as was his daily routine. He came back for lunch at around 1 p.m. and later left whereby he met his untimely death shortly before 3 p.m. through a tragic road accident along Kitsale Webuye Highway. Richard lived a fulfilled life. He loved his family, loved his relatives and friends, but the Lord loved him most. I will finish with a verse. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Romans chapter 14, verse 8. Thank you. Asante sana. Let us appreciate her for being strong. Let us appreciate her. Asante sana, Caroline, for being strong. Kwa hivu tutaendelea, tunayolojia pale, reading of the tributes. Tutakua tunayendelea, and the tributes for sons will be read by Alfred. Alfred, tafadhali, songea usome tributes from the son to their beloved father. the Lord. All protocols are served. The church and everyone around here, we appreciate your coming. My name is Arteriot Alfred. Going to read the tribute for the sons. Dad, words cannot describe how we feel. You have a you have always been the pillar of the family, the giant tree that provided shelter and shade, a tree whose deep roots family held the family properly grounded when storms blew our way. As a father, you believed in us. You educated and mentored us. We grew up confidently knowing we are, we were in safe under your wings. When we lost our mother, you provided comfort, hope, and wiped our tears and gave us assurance to be there for us, like mom, who will have been. Like a captain in deep, in high seas, you steered the ship ensured we remained afloat. Your children treated us equally under the untimely, painfully, and shocking departure from the face of this world. Each one of us felt secure under you. We know without mom, now you, tough times lie ahead. But we promise to hold the family together and safeguard your legacy. Dad, we were very, you were a very hard working man, full of happiness, love that you endlessly, endlessly spread and shared among us. We will miss you. We will miss your encouragements and prayers. We thank God for the time we shared with you and a privilege to be our father. We love you most, you here on earth, but we take comfort 
in the belief that we shall meet again. Ru netala pamanga tunakupenda. Asante sana. Asante sana. Vivian for the daughters. have stood still, but it can never erase your presence in our lives. Death may end life, but not a relationship. We remember you as a wonderful gift from God, our pillar of strength. We love you so much. You brought happiness to our hearts in a special way. You are so kind, caring, understanding, very generous to us. If we ever needed any help, it came so freely and readily from you. You are a blessing and a God's gift to the family. As a father, you are fully present at every stage of our lives. At no point did any of us need you and you were not there. You played and joked with us from our childhood all the way to our adulthood. Your generosity knew, knew no bounds. Even when we were already established and had our own income, you would still give us bus fare back to our respective homes. You called us Vifarangawangu. Vifarangawangu is uh, chicks. Playfully, and you indeed protected us like a chicken will protect its own chick chicks from any threats or danger and shield, from, shield them from cold under its wings. You always asked if we slept well and if we had breakfast. Dad, you are so generous with food and consistently wanted us, to, you wanted to know whether we've, we've had a meal or not. You and mom, you and mom's firm, firm and loving way of guiding us made us who we are today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, dad. One thing you kept saying is the best gift a parent can give to a child is education. And you kept your word. You were, we were never sent home for school fees, not even once regardless of what level we reached. You took us to the best schools and you never missed any visiting day. And my siblings can attest to that. Our dad never missed any visiting day. We shall forever remember the effort and sacrifices you made together with mom, with our beloved mom. We truly miss her. We truly miss our mom. You, you, you extended your love beyond our homes to relatives, neighbors, and friends. During COVID-19 period, when social distancing was the norm, you said you did not mind the risk of uh, exposure as long as you were with your children. Whenever we called, you appreciated that it confirmed to you that we were still alive, safe and sound. You cared about our well-being, even as you struggled with your own health predicaments. We remember when we were little children, you took us for trips like ASK shows, safari rallies, and even to your garage trips. You did not mind 
how dirty we looked thereafter. We thank you and mom for ensuring that you did your best to provide a comfortable life for us. We enjoyed the sweets, toffees, and the cakes that you spoiled us with when we were young. Dad, you are a very hardworking man, full of happiness, and the love that you endlessly spread and shared among us. As We will miss you, your beautiful warm smile, your encouragements and prayers. It is devastating, it is devastating that you have left us lonely. Home will definitely grow cold with both mom and you now gone. As a leader and our patriarch of the family, your amazing and resilient life was a blessing. The memory, you, uh, the memory of your deeds a treasure. Your transition leaves a void beyond words. Your absence a pain beyond measure. We will forever cherish your memories of love, dedication, prayer, kindness, wisdom, generosity, which will remain our guiding light to us. Dad, we derive comfort from Rosita Worthington poem that life is eternal and is immortal and death is only a horizon and a horizon is nothing save the limit of our sight you are gone but we will always cherish you dad in our hearts you will remain forever uh, isaiah 6, 6, uh, chapter 60 verse 19 to 20 it says the sun will no more be your light by day nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you for the lord will will be your everlasting light and your god will be your glory your sun will never set again and the moon will be will wane no more the lord will be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow will end dad Now that you have preceded us to heaven, say hi to mom. We know that both of you continue, both of you will continue to watch over us from heaven. Kichamin dad, we love you. Bye daddy, till we meet again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Asante Nisan, let us appreciate her for being strong by reading the tributes for the daughters. Nataka kuita all the grandchildren and the great grandchildren. Wote tu waje hapa. Wajuku wote tafadhali. Waje tu hapa. Chemtai. My name is Victor Kipron. Veronica Nyetich. Brian Langat. Sharon Chepkemoy. Vla Sonui. Fidel Castro. Naito Evans Kirui. Eileen Langat. Duncan Lagat. Ruth Chelangat. Naomi Cherotich. Dilanki Protich 
I don't keep meno. Alfi keep run. Lynche bet. Mila ne tai. I'll proceed with the tribute. It is hard to believe that gone are the days we will visit and you will be around to welcome us with open arms. Grandpa, we used to long for the holidays because we knew there was a lot in store for us. From the fun times to escapades and the merry-making experiences we had to the lessons and skills you taught us, there was nothing left to chance. We remember the car rides, the endless games that brought us pure bliss and joy to our faces, and the goodies you would buy us during holidays, especially Christmas. That was a feast. You did not forget to teach us basic skills that we needed to be responsible. You made sure that we knew Christ and attended church every Sunday we came visiting. Your playful nature can go not, cannot go unnoticed, and your humor unmentioned. You made everything, you made things appear easy and a joke, however serious they were. We recall whenever we will visit, those of us who are dark skinned, you would ask if you could recognize us and you will say, you resemble my children, but you are darker. We, we guess not only the grandchildren, but most of the people who knew you will attest to this. To say you are a grandpa to us, will be an understatement because you had you played a huge role in our lives you have instilled essential skills that we apply in our day-to-day -day life and characteristics that have shaped the persons we are today and endeavor to be as we grow you live in and among us grandpa this is not a goodbye your guidance kindness generosity and wisdom are example well set for us you will forever remain ingrained in our hearts Grandpa, rest well in your next world. Until we meet again, we loved you, Sana Grandpa. Thank you. Let us appreciate them to begin my coffee to Fadali. They have done so well. Something that has come up very well from the tribute. That Mze could say that he recognizes you, but you are darker. Uh, ask your neighbor, are you darker, light skin, ama uko tu apokatikati? Angalia jirani yako, ingozi yake anapaka mafuta ama anakatu. Anapaka mafuta ngozi. Muzea alitaka vitu qualities, ndiyo? Ngozi unaosha unapaka mafuta. Kwa na tembea, tembea tu bila kupaka mafuta. Alafu usiku nyingine ukienda sherehe, hata kama ni matanga faa vizuri. Kwa watu wana nisumbo, wana pita pita mbele ya kamera na wamevatu madoa doa. Pana vasi lipas kwa matanga. Faa vizuri. Um, thank you so much family for that. Tunataka tuwapatie watu wengine na fasi kidogo pia waweze kuzungumza. Alafu tutakuwa tunaendelea. Dr. Kirwa, if Dr. Kirwa is around, he was a physician for Mze. If Dr. Kirwa is around, tafadhali. Pada ito nafasi ya kunena. Dr. Kirwa, is Dr. around? Ah, Dr. is coming, please. Dr. ya tafuatu wa naliekua dereva wa baba, Arnold, pia atakuja tu awezi kutoa rambi rambi zake kwa mze. Kwa hivyo Arnold, atafuata Dr. Dr. Asante wa imbaji, Dr. I got to go and get it up, Jay Sol, a chamge. Chamge Gogin. Yes, I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate uh, this moment that I've been given to speak. Uh, on behalf of my family, on behalf of the doctors that we were able to serve, our late father, Richard Nguyen. 
I came to know him when I served as an assistant physician to Dr. Kaguri in Kitale. And one day our physician was not present. He had gone to Rwanda. And uh, while he was away, it was clinic day for Richard. So he came to my office. And Richard asked me one question. He asked me, young man, do you have medication for old age? So I knew this was a tricky question. I get even Richard Kulejo. It in your check, Jabo Sinda. And I saw Lagava Tevan as well, Lian Marizigi Wolu. Those meager check up with Jabo Sinda. I saw Lady and got us a room prescription. Nebogacha. What was a viale? So he knew that that question had been answered. And from that time, I started attending to him. Until 2018, 2019, I went to Nairobi for further studies. COVID came, and we used to, we used to visit to our clinic for the ailment of diabetes. And you know complications that go with diabetes, heart condition, the prostate, the kidneys, sometimes electrolytes would go down, sometimes blood levels would go down. But I, one thing I liked about him, he would give a prescription, so long as he did not react to it, he responded to it. Richard Ngen was a jovial person. We interacted within that level of patient doctor relationship you would ask one question and if you would answer it things would simply be okay he was actually my father because he was the age mate of my father and i came closer to him like my own dad i served him that far it was the greatest privilege for you, the children, you gave your dad the best. I remember a time he was going for an eye surgery in Nairobi, and I had been asked to approve whether he will go by plane. And that was a very difficult thing to do, because how would I know that he would board a plane and be still OK? But still, I thank God because he went for that surgery and he was successful. As I'm going missing, and I'm saying, Poleni uh, Sana, we've lost a great person. He was an inspiration to us. He was a great example. He was a dad, a loving father. Thank you very much. You supported him. In all, I didn't know that it was going to be an accident that was going to take him. From 2019, actually, I didn't see him in the office. The only time we saw him in the office was when we were doing uh, ECG and echo, we were looking at his heart. But the rest of the time, we attended him in the car. So if I had another eye that this was the thing that was going to take him, Perhaps I would have done something. But you know, God also has his ways of doing things. Poleni sana, mungu wa bariki, we are together, may God bless you. I came with my wife and our driver from Segero Hillview. I think they can stand so that they can wave also. Thank you very much. On behalf of those doctors who served, we appreciate and we say Poleni San. Thank you. Asante Sana Daktari, Asante Sana. The river, Umze.
kanisa jamaa jamii pamoja na wageni wengine wa kutoka mbali na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu hamjambo kila mtu ainue mkono juu aseme bwana yuko na ni ukweli niliona Mungu ya yeah. mzee nimeanza kufanya naye kazi kuanzia mwaka jana mwezi wa kumi hadi tarehe ambayo aliaga dunia hii haikuwa jambo rahisi mzee alikuwa mzee mchangamfu hakuwa mtu wa mambo mengi tulikuwa hata wakati mwingine tunafanya naye mchezo nilikuwa nikimuita kijana asubuhi nikikuja ajaamka na muita kijana ananiambia msichana kumbe umekuja nasema ndio nimefika wetu ndio unanichelewesha lakini harakisha tunachelewa kwa safari na hizi ni safari ambazo tulikuwa tunazifanya kila siku tulikuwa tunatoka asubuhi tunaenda kutembea tunaenda kiminini tunaenda kamkuywa tunarudi saa saba tunakula lunch pia tunaondoka tena siku hii ya Jumanne wakati nilikuja hapa asubuhi mzee alikuwa amechelewa kuamka dada yangu Ali sakaniambia wewe ndio wewe unawezana na mzee kuja uniamshie mzee kwa sababu masaa yake ya kumeza dawa naona yanapita kweli nilienda kwa dirisha nikagonga akaniuliza nani anagonga dirisha nikamwambia ni kijana akaniambia msichana kumbe umefika wacha niamuke nikuje nijitayarishe twende safari kweli haikuchukua muda mzee akaamka wakati aliamka alijitayarisha akakula akameza dawa na tukaweza kuondoka tulienda na tukarudi hapa mwendo wa saa saba ili kupata chakula cha mchana na wakati tulipata chakula tukaondoka tena kama kawaida kaechukua maziwa hapa tukaenda tukawacha sokoni tukatoka sokoni tukaelekea kiminini wakati tulifika kiminini tukitaka kurudi kamkuywa mzee akaniambia jambo moja alikuwa akiniita boss akaniambia boss tukitoka kamkuywa utanipeleka kwa ule mtu wangu wa kunyoa kweli tulirudi na wakati tulikuwa tunarudi yeye akaanza kulala tukaanza safari ya kutoka kimini tunaenda kamkuywa wakati alikuwa analala kufika pale maliki wanapaita pa kwa, pa kwa area hapo ndipo roli ilikuwa inakuja mbele yangu nyuma kulikuwa na land cruiser hiyo land cruiser walikuwa na hiyo over speed wakati nilikuja kukaribia hili lori ambayo lilikuwa mkono wangu wa kulia hule jamaa wa land cruiser akaanza overtaking alianza overtaking kutoka kwa mbali na mimi wakati niliona anakuja kwa njia ya fujo nikasema wacha ni muondokee kwa barabara kando ili yeye haweze kupita muda si muda Haikuchukua hata sekunde tano alirudi mkono wangu. Mimi nawaambia ndugu zangu hiyo gari ya mzee ilipigwa ikaenda kwa hewa. Ndipo ikarudi kaanga kwa mtaro miguu ikaangalia juu. Lakini kulikuwa na wasamaria wema kwa sababu mimi nikiwa pale ndani haikuchukua mzee dakika mbili wakati alikuwa amenilalia. Mzee akakata moto. Niliuzunika na nikashindwa cha kufanya vile naweza kusaidia mzee kwa sababu kuona mtu wakati anakata maisha kwa hakika ni jambo linauma nikashindwa vile nitafanya kwa mimi mwenyewe pia 
nilikuwa kwa hali ngumu hewa pale ndani inaniisha ikabidi nianze kupiga nduru ndipo wa Samaria wakakuja wakabomoa dirisha wakaweza mkunivuta mle ndani kutoka mle ndani kwa bahati nzuri nilikuwa najifahamu nikaanza kushughulikia ndio po nilikuwa na maumivu kwa sababu mwili wote ulikuwa uchungu niliumia kichwa nikaumia miguu kwa bahati nzuri mwili huu akifua na tumbo haikuguzwa wapendwa nawaambia yule ambaye hajaokoka kuanzia leo hamjue Mungu kwa sababu kile ambacho niliona kwa macho yangu kwa hakika nilitoka mahali pagumu Wacha Mungu azidi kuwa azidi kuitwa Mungu na azidi kuinuliwe tuzidi kumwabudu familia hii na washukuru sana wamenilia kama ndugu na wameni na washukuru kwa sababu hadi wakati huu bado tuko pamoja bado wananilea na mimi nawarudishia shukurani na sema Mungu azidi kuwabariki wacha Mungu aponye mioyo yenu kabisa ni hayo tu kwa majina ni Arnold Lumasia nafikiri baba yuko pale atainua tu mkono ameweza kufika mahali hapa asanteni sana thank you for being strong and sorry for losing a friend pole kwa kupoteza rafiki huyu alikaa na yeye muda mwingi sana pole sana kwa kupoteza rafiki kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni endelee na ratiba niite watu wawili alafu niende kwa administration assistant chief tafadhali allow me directly to call upon the managing director Kenya pipeline uh, kwa sababu anafaa kuwa kwa hewa na watu ambao wanatembea kwa hewa kuna masaa ya kuenda kwa hewa pia wakati nampatia kipaza sauti md ukishika hii microphone pia unanipatia neema pia nianze kutumia chopa alafu na inakuwa vizuri utaanza kutumia eh? chopa bwana yesu asifiwe eh, ya kwanza kabisa nataka niseme pole kwa familia ya sandani nsemeji richard nimesikia richard ndio alikuwa amewa sister yetu the late esther and I want to say sorry for the family sincere condolences for losing a dear father grandfather uncle it's really sad especially the circumstances in which he lost his, his life pole sana kwa driver umetuelezea vizuri vile ilifanyika na ayo tunawachia Mungu tumesoma zote what the late richard did for his family hakuna mtoto hata mmoja alifukuzwa shule because of lack of school fees he loved his family tumeambiwa they used to go for holidays safari rally karach he was a hard working man alikuwa mkulima adari He was a businessman. When you look at this level of education, those years and where he reached in his life, Ramshukuru. So I want to request my nieces, well done, Alfred. Nichungumuyeni sasa, mshike familia. Ili tuweze tuendelee kwenye mzee alikuwa amewachia. Tumeomba shamba, shamba ni kubwa, mpangeni kazi vizuri. Gitali za very rich area for Akrikaja, maana ya mahindi. And I know you can be able to plan as a family so that you are able to exceed the expectations of where your father and mother has placed you. So sina mengi Tumekuja na nilikuwa na senior manager wa ADC ningeomba tu aseme moja ndio mturuzu turudi Nairobi 
Pona daktari, karibu. Eh, kwanza, mm. niseme pole kwa familia, kwa kupoteza mzee, pole kwa mandugu na mandada ya hii familia, pole kwa wakaache ya hapa, pole kwa kaunti mzima, hata mimi ni mkaachi ya hii kaunti. Vile umesikia kwa jina minaitua Dr. Tanui nafanya na Ruby kwa shirika yenye iko katika Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock na mimi natoka hii kaunti. Wakati niliingia nilianza kazi hii kaunti almost 28 years ago. Nakumbuka nilikuja hapa nikapata mzee na my sister the late uh, Esther ambaye alikuwa amewalewa na huyu mzee mwenye amelala tukakaa akanikari akaniuliza na wakati nilikuja hapa sikuwa nimemaliza hata wania akaniuliza sasa we uko na shamba wapi hapa nikaambia nilikuja tu juice sichamaliza hata wania wania mshara ya wania ijatosha hata kununua hapa neck Mzee alini challenge kabla hatujaanza hata maisha. Kwa hivyo hii mzee ni mnamjua kabisa kwa sababu alikuwa ameoa my, my sister. Ile kitu najua kwa mzee mwenye ametuacha ni kwamba ni mzee alichipanga. Na akiwa hapa alikuwa anapendana na majirani na kila mtu. Tuko na sisi kama wakalenji tunasemanga you bury yourself when you are still alive. What does that mean? It means when you are still alive we kuwa mtu very hard working ukwe ukwe na bidii ukwe na upendane na watu kwa sababu we ukiregarega we ukiwa tu mtu hivi hivi we ukienda nobody even even come to your funeral but how will you bury yourself kama una watu ya kusaidia wewe wakati umekufa so mzee he buried himself when he was still alive meaning Ye yeah, alijipanga akakaa na watu that is why ukiona hii watu hii umati ya hii watu hapa hii watu ni wengi sana hiyo ni kumaanisha mzee kweli aliishi maisha yake mzuri sana sitaki kusema mengi eh, wacha niwachie hapo asante asante sana nataka tu wa wave have my wife there rose can wave to the crowd niko na my sister in law lilian asanteni sana na mungu awabariki Asante sana MD pamoja na senior manager thank you so much for coming when they were talking they have said something that, that has really touched me that you need to bury yourself when you are still alive si ndio sisi tunakuanga matanga zetu za kijijini hapa matanga ngapi chopa wewe inakuja unajua chopa unajua chopa parawa kwa hewa ni pesa ngapi chopa ikikuja matanga yako inamaanisha you lived well Mambo tu ya watu kukuja na baisikeli kwa matanga yako. Inaishia hewa kwa barabara. Pancha inapatikana kwa barabara. Wanafika kwa matanga wamechelewa. Ishi vizuri bwana. Ambia jirani yako ishi vizuri. Chopa ikuje kwa matanga yako. Hata tu hata 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 tu ikuje. Ishi vizuri. Hello? Mzee lived well. Ama namna gani? It's a challenge to all of us who are alive. Maana unakufa matanga yako inakuwa ngumu watu wanapigana kwa matanga yako, chakula watu wanapigania. It's not good, isn't it? Mambo inakuwa sawa sawa kama mambo ya mzee. Si baraka? Tunaendelea vizuri. Karibu tunafika Kikomo, almost giving the administration nafasi wawezi kuzungumza that before the administration kuna mzee mmoja ambaye aliwachwa nje nitaomba tu mniruhusu kwa heshima before i call upon the administration to come ni muite clan chair person bwana Kennedy To atoe tu rambi rambi zake maana alifika na tafadhali tunamheshimu sana because he's the clan chair just to give his condolences alafu tutakuwa tunaenda kwa administration na kumaliza uru wa Yesu uru wa Yesu pande ule uru wa Yesu pande ule Nachukua wakati huu kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa vile tulipofika hapa 
tukaona familia imetulia familia imepata nguvu na mmesikia vile driver amesema hii ilikuwa ni kishindo kubwa sana ambacho haikuwa rahisi kwa familia na hata kwa kijiji kanisa na jamii tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu tuweke mikono yetu juu asante umesikia nimesimamishwa hapa nimekuja kwa niaba ya familia kubwa umeoneshwa the immediate family familia yetu ni kubwa inaitwa Kiplegeno Neck family kwa kifupi Legeno family Legeno family inapatikana katika county zetu za Rift Valley na hata diaspora na tuko wengi na kwa vile tuko wengi familia wakaona ya kwamba waunde kikundi ambacho kitasimamia the social and the welfare life of the Legeno family in the entire country and in diaspora mimi ni mwenyekiti wa pili mwenyekiti wa kwanza ali retire juzi akiwa na miaka 90 na kitu nimetumwa na Rambi Rambi na Pole kutoka Patrons tuko na Patrons wanne mmoja wao ni Dr Francis Sang former director of the CID ametumwa Pole na Rambi Rambi zake County Commissioner uh, Elgeyo Marakwet wana John Korira ametumwa Pole na Rambi Rambi zake uh, former governor Kericho Paul Chipkony ambaye ni one of the members of the uh, the national committee ametuma vile vile rambi zake rambi rambi zake na wengi ambao wanamjua bwana Richard wametuma rambi rambi na ninasema kwa niaba yao wote kwa kifupi tu nataka kusimamisha members of the national executive council ambao wamekuja kwa niaba ya legendo family yote na ni members of this family also lili ngeny bwana John Boyon please kujeni hapa Hawatasema kitu kwa vile the immediate members of the family but they are the members of the national executive council of the Legeno family that takes care of all the Legeno welfare nationally and in diaspora Na tumeambia tuko na watu wa tabaka mbali mbali all people of works of, of life who are the members of the national executive council So as they stand here I want to assure the family the children of Bona Richard that the National Executive Council of the family stands with you. And the word from the National Executive Council is that all our family matters are not taken to court before you refer to the National Executive Council if they can sort out the problems. Sasa nataka kujulisheni ya kwamba kama kutakuwa na tatizo lolote as a family consult Bona Boyon here and Lucy you discuss if those if the whatever matter becomes so difficult they'll forward it to the National Executive Council who will see how to arbitrate and to help you and if you will need legal help we need lawyers also in the family in the National Executive Council who will stand with you we have all kinds of people as i've said in the National Executive Council who will stand with you all the time if you need them at any time you can always call so be assured we shall stand with you we shall be with you in all the matters now that our brother has gone to be with the lord mom left earlier you are alone now but rest assured that you have a larger family that will be there with you i just want to leave one word with you please i want you to read revelations 24 21 verse 4 which says your tears shall be wiped there will be no more cry you are crying now but the lord is going to wipe your tears and there will be no more cry there will be no more death because the lord our god is going to comfort you thank you so much be blessed the entire family the entire village for losing our brother we knew even the village mumepoteza mtu wa maana nanyi vile vile mnauzunika kama sisi Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki kanisa vile vile Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki na wanaemeshe muendelee kutunzia sisi watoto wetu hapa we shall always be in contact asanteni sana
Asante sana. It is very nice for a clan chair to know the Lord. It is very beautiful as a family. Asante sana kwa maneno yako mazuri. Now before I call upon um, the village administrator waweze kuchukua nafasi fupi ya administration, ningependa tu pia kurecognize the people ambao wamekuja kulia kwa sababu ya Weldon, kwa sababu ya Joyce, kwa sababu ya Helen, kwa sababu ya Emily, kwa sababu ya Alfred, kwa sababu ya Caroline, kwa sababu ya Vivian na kwa sababu ya Judith. Najua wako wengi sana hapa ndani. Hello, do you wish them to wave? Mna wish wa wave? Wasimame wa wave. Aya, wale ambao wamekuja tu kwa niaba ya Weldon tafadhali. If they are here kama mmekuja kwa sababu ya Weldon marafiki, jamii kwa sababu ya Weldon, can we just wave to the congregation those ones who have come for Weldon? Asante, asante, asante sana. Thank you so much. Wale wamekuja kwa sababu ya kumsindikiza dada yetu Joyce wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya dada Joyce Asante wave 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 thank you we recognize you and tell you thank you so much for coming wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya sister Helen wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya sister Helen let us wave let us wave to the crowds thank you thank you so much wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya sister Emily wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya Emily let us wave let us wave thank you so much wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya Alfred wale ambao wanajua Alfred eh, hata ukiinua mara tatu si mbaya unaweza kuwa unajua kila mtu Al Alfred uh -huh. wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya Caroline let us just wave we recognize you thank you so much we appreciate you those ones ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya Vivian wengine wametoka mbali tuenue mikono naona kwa hema hii wako wengi sana na rangi zao zinapendeza pia asante sana Asante sana. Kuna wale ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya the last born Judith. Tuinue mikono. Tuinue mikono wale wamekuja kwa sababu ya Judith. Na inashangaza sana kwamba the last born amekula kushinda wenzake. Mama alikuwa anakula chakula mingi. No, I, I was recognized and I realized kwamba the last born ndio kama alikuwa anakaa karibu na baba. Ukiangalia last born na uangalie wengine. Vivian wamekula wakakumalizia. Eh, ndiyo neema hivyo ndiyo neema iko asante sana uh, i want to call upon um, the village admin wa hapa Joel Serem tafadhali Joel Serem kuja tu ujulishe wakasa wengine kwa dakika moja moja wakasa chief akikuwa wa mahali ya muongei sana ni introduction tu asante basi jambo la kwanza familia pole jambo la pili kanisa pole jambo la tatu pole kichichi jambo la nne alamisho kwa sehemu hiyo poleni sana uh, neighbors wageni wote kutoka kule kirijo poleni sana so wakasa karibuni kwa nafasi ya kipeke ili ukaweze kuja pa mbele na mmoja wenu ndio ataongea mmoja wenu ataongea kisha nipata kuelekeza kipindi karibu sana wakasa iwamo upo karibu sana mmoja wenu ataongea kwa ni hapa wengine ili tukaweza kukuomboa wakati na basi hii nzuri na baada hawa sasa sasa kipindi ili bwana chifu wetu aongee baada hiyo asifiwe nasema pole sana pole kwa papa yetu Richard Richard kweli amekuwa um, ni papa ya heshima alikuwa natupenda si, si ati watoto yake peke yake alikuwa natupenda sana hata nikipata ye eh, ananiambia mtoto yangu ibo tu na nilishukuru so pole sana watoto ya pomai mo 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 yege mo mo yegi mukae na musikilisana na muheshimiana yeah? well done my choice and that's how wengine na hawa na wakubali muende kwa utaratifu na Mungu aweze kupariki kwa majina nini root rotiji kelach basi 
kwanza ningependa kuzilimia nyinyi yote kwa jina la Yesu mkombozi wetu hamchamboni basi tumekuja kulia kwa matanga ya papa yetu papa yetu kweli ametupenda ametulea tumekuwa tukizungumza na yeye na kipatia mimi mashauri kila wakati tumekuwa katika kanisa kila wakati tunapotembea ilikuwa ananiambia mimi papa muwe na heshima muwe na anaimiza kwamba tuwe na eh, watu wa heshima tuwe heshima wakubwa tuwe na nidhamu kila wakati nafikiri nasema pole kwa papa ndugu zangu naambia nyinyi kweli mwenende katika mwenendo wa papa wetu basi mimi kwa majina naitwa Samuel Cheriot kutoka hapa ngambo asante bwana asifiwe chamge habari zenu wadi ya kilicho amjambo bas maneno imeamuka najua mzee kama huyu akianguka to nimeona maajabu nilikuwa sijui watu elfu moja lakini nimeona sasa elfu moja na nimefurahi mmekuja tulie mzee wetu ambaye mmesikia story yake yeye ndio alileta shamba hii na wasee wengine saka yao wamesema ha mzee akukuja sijui ilikuwaaje alikuwa ana shida kidogo na sijui kwa nini watoto yake akulete aliye tunataka ni shukuru ya kwanza niseme namna hii watoto ya Richard Ngei na mimi simwambi watoto ya Richard Ngei mbegi yake kama una baba yako ama mama yako wewe linda ye. kama Mungu bado anapenda ulinde ye. we linda ye. sehemu Richard alikuwa amekaa nyinyi msikie watu wa kilicho Richard alikuwa amelindwa kama president magao kaskini kagimwa yuko melanja kolia akua magao kasi na magamo tani ko gimute nore kugimo ko chomto ji richa and mimi nataka nizeme hivi mnaona anga richa tanaenda na kari yake hii hapa sikiendo anaenda mahali sio amewahi tu zinani kwa ukweli kabisa kama ni kusema hata kwa wazee asiamba hii hata mimi si tasema ngaje mimi naenda kanisa basa ananihubiria hii mzee alikuwa iko na maneno gani sio zitani kama hata tutaongea mingi waja tulie tu kwa maana tumekosa ku, kuona ye lakini bure tutafuata ye baadaye waja Mungu alinde sisi na alinde hii watoto yake mkae vile ilikuwa mnakaanga mlikuwa mmelinda baba hata alikuwa anamwambia mwingine hapo mnajua Richard alipanda gari sasa sijui MT gani amende amesema ule mwenye alikuja na ndege ndio sijui ndio amesema ati alienda alikuja na gari ndege bongee si msichana mwenye alita baba yake akapandisha ndege mimi ngaje ni nyinyi wote lakini mimi nashukuru mwenye alienda linda yeye na robi hiyo ulipatia yeye changamoto ya ku kutoka usabkite sabeni ni kwa sabeni jat koko moko koko kwangu sana mwana msiki mimi ngeleni ko tiri tukul sigi ko unata akinye sigi nde mati imze yang igir ya komo tindo maswali ndo ne otindo aswali ne ni le iya muna wa mongo kholo acha mege ya munega ali cha mege ani nune vuto kulo ka se negi ngwan aka se gi ngwan aka ira bo yot ko bijo ile yo te sa ndu unon ji ta ne amir be ma ma yo ka ju so ndu unon me ususe lakini ma ususe so ndu unon ko ngo igi tyo lo ki su ko bi ro ki ova em ti jo ka bo ane ko ngo ya mu ngo ba na gi dege ano ka ange an do ro bu ne ge li ge a sande ni mi na ito eli jange ti a bi ndo inde te bi si jo no jo ka se bi si a bi ndo inde ko ngo isu gi bi ru ro a agile ngele no li mukasa na na mu ngele mukasa ko ta ya ta ko kwe a ka se a wa ju i mukasa ni 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 ndo mi na ele sa a kwa luka ya ya ka ka le a sande ni mu ri ki we ka pisa a sande ka pisa ki la mo jao a la bu ku na sa ta ka mu si ene na sa ta ka enu mu ta we ka ta ko yo ma ki ka bu ba me ka bu a sande ba ku pa se a sande kwa yo se hemu mo cha ko mo cha nitamuita John Naipe John Naipe ucha hapa mbele kuna jambo nataka nifanye hapa mbele ni kwa ajili ya milimani area Pukwet 
uh, nyumba nyumba kumi kuna nyumba kumi walisimama na family hii kwa Weldon na Ali ni kwa ajili wako kwa nyumba kumi kwa hivyo kuna pesa stasilimu tulisanya elfu sapa kwa hiyo nafasi ya kipekee kwa hivyo kwa hiyo nafasi tutapatia hawa mashambili kwa hiyo sehemu nataka niseme hivi iko wezi wanakuja siamba ya hii Richard sijui zauri ni kubwa hasingine anachinja ngombe ndani huko ndani ndio hiyo wamepanda miwa sijui mtakuja chinja ni watu ama mtafanya nini sana tumetengeneza hii njia tukapata na yuko tena bro hizo naitwaje in sola sola hii ya nyumba ilikuwa kwa siamba hapo sasa kama wewe ulipoteza na umepiga report huko kuja chukua hapa kwetu asante na msikue wezi msikue wezi wacha na huko hapa leo kwa hivyo ndapatia na cho naipe akaweze kukapiti family hiyo wawili nafasi hiyo asante ni saa kwa jana pasi asante kwa hiyo sehemu asante sana wana kijiji asante pigia wakasa makofi eh mzee richard unasema watu wasikue wezi si ndio watu wasomeshe watoto si ndio Ajua kusomesha watoto ndio muhimu. Hiyo ndio ukusema wasomeshe watoto watoto wasikue wezi. Si ndio? Before the chief tafadhali chief tu nimekuwa requested tafadhali before you come sitaki kuvunja protocol. Ndio maana sijataka watu wengine wazungumze nyuma yako. Just before you come kuna wale friends to Vivian. Uh, I know maybe they have one person to speak kwa niaba yao ama sijui watakuja wote. The friends to Vivian wame request tu mmoja aseme tu kwa niaba ya wenzake wanaweza wakakuja wote pamoja alafu mmoja aseme ama mmoja aje ama vile mtapanga wenyewe tafadhali 2 minutes alafu ndio tuweze kumalizia tafadhali they have requested family please bear with me tafadhali asante kutupatia hii nafasi uh, kwa jina naitwa Steve Mathuka na niko hapa na wezangu kutoka Kenya Power Pension Fund mahali ambapo Vivian anafanya kazi kwa hivyo tukiwa hapa tuna kuja kama watu wa Kenya Power Pension Fund and by extension eh, Kenya Power sababu sisi tuko na uhusiano wa karibu sana na Kenya Power Uh, tuko na ujumbe kutoka kwa ule ambao ndio CEO wa kampuni yetu naitwa Edwin Ruto na nitasoma wewe ujumbe lakini kabla ni usome ningependa kwanza tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa tuwezesha sisi wote tukuzanyike hapa ndio tuweze kutoa rambi rambi zetu kwa jamii ya mzee Richard na kama vile ambao mnaona na vile ambayo imesemwa inaonekana huu ni mzee ambao alikuwa amefanya juhudi sana kwa kuinvest kwa urafiki ujirani mwema na mienendo ambao uh, watu wengi ambao wataiga invested a lot in people and uh, the way you can see there are being so many people over here it uh, is a clear demonstration of that Uh, nitafanya kwa ufupi sana ile eh, rambi rambi ambao tuko nazo kutoka kwa mkubwa wetu Edwin Ruto. Uh, to the family and the mourners, today we have gathered here not only to mourn the passing of a beloved parent but also to honor the life and legacy of a remarkable individual. On behalf of Kenya Power Pension Fund Fraternity, I wish to express our deepest condolences to our colleague Vivian Nyen and her family during this time of grief. The passing of a loved one is a reminder of the fragility of life and it obliges us to reflect on our heart life and the journey in this world. 
While it is not easy to find the right words, it's in times like this that we appreciate the value of the relationships that we have built within our fund and to support one another, not only in good times, but also in times of grief. Vivian, please know that you are not alone. Vivian, and of course, your sisters and brothers, you are not alone. Our entire team stands beside you, ready to offer unwavering support, compassion, and a shoulder to lean on. May the memories you hold dear bring solace, and may you find comfort in the Lord as you navigate this difficult time together with your siblings and uh, other relatives. May your soul rest in eternal peace. Signed by Edwin K. Ruto, uh, CEO Kenya Power Pension Fund. Kwa kumalizia bana MCE, ni kusema tu, uh, ayo ni mambo ya mungu, na kuna wakati ambao, tuneza toa e, makosa kwa ele mungu ambao meamua. Yeye ndio huwa nasema ni nani, itakuwa ni siku gani, itakuwa ni wapi, na atuwezi kumtua makosa. Kwa hivyo tushukuru, kwa zile miaka zote ambao, tumekuwa na mzee Richard. It's a celebration of life of the Richard eh, Cheruyot Ngeye. Thank you so much. Duko pamoja. Asante sana the Fraternity of Kenya Power Pension Fund. The last one, mzee Michael Ngeye. Taomba tu, tu salamu na mlete kipaza sauti hapa. Mzee alitaka tukusema pole. Asante sana mzee Michael na kikundi cha Kenya Power Pension Fund. Na umniruhusu sasa kwa heshima kubwa na taadhima niweze kumwalika naibu chifu maeneo haya ili akaweze kusema pamoja na sisi na tutakuwa karibu sana kufika kikomo cha sherehe yetu ya leo. Chief tafadhali. Asante sana bwana MC. Umetuelekeza vizuri na hapo mali tumefika tunelekea ukingoni na nashukuru mwenyezi mungu kwa haya yote. Familia ya mzee Richard Nyeny, kiongozo na tuto wake, jamii yake yote, wageni wake kutoka sehemu mbali mbali, na wote ambao mefika hapa siku ya leo, kama wananiono na nsikiza, hebu tulamiane hewani. Bwana asifiwe. Na wengine ni mesema tusalamia na wengine na wasalami. Mweni kasirikia miyamu kasirikia msengenyi. Bwana asifiwe. Mimi nimekuja hapa. Kusema pole. Kwa jamii. Kwa kupoteza mpendwa wawo. Ni haringumu. Kukubali kwamba. Mmewachwa na mze. Na wakati ule mmewachwa na mama sahi mza meenda. So najua ile uchungu mkonayo. Naomba kwamba mmewachwa kwa mungu. Na hiyo tu ndiyo njia Poleni sana Na shukuru mungu kwa miaka ambali patia mzee ngenyi Kwa hii dunia Na yale yote ambaye mefanya Nita shukuru mzee vile vile Kwa kazi ambaye alifanya Umona watu ambaye mekuja hii matanga Vilo naka Yani mzee alifanya kazi yake Na ukiwa hapa uchifunze kitu Na shukuru watoto wake Mzee tulikuwa tunamujua hapa Kwa kitoka, nenda soko kidogo Nenda kiminini, kamukuyua anazunguka vizuri na hiyo gari iko aisha mafuta asante sana kwa watoto kwa hiyo kazi ambayo mlifanya na wote ambao mko hapa vile Elijah alisema kama uko na mzazi wako wewe fanya kitu ba na uandike barua yako ukiwa hai hii barua tunasoma leo ni mzee ngenye aliandika tangu mwaka wa 1936 na leo tumeisoma imekuwa barua mzuri nzuri wewe yako ile siku yako itafika itasomwa ifanane namna gani Iyo ni challenge kwako, ujiulize na ujijazie. Si itakuwa na mambo mengi, itashikuwa inafasi kuita marafiki zangu tumekaa na hapa watu wa nat. Karibu tafadhali mutoe rambirambi zenu na musemi mawili matatu ambao mko nae. Wakati wanakuja, hebu angale jirani yako, msalimio muambia mungu wanakupenda. Kamu uja salimio, uwe jiulize maswai. Asante sana, asante sana chief, a familia hii ya mzee Richard Cheriot Ngenyi, a kaibu.
kanisa letu la AIC a watu wetu kutoka Kericho kule Bureti ndugu zangu walimu mahali popote mulipo watu wetu hapa Konoin na Sihendu na kila mtu aliyekuja kutupa pole hamjambo a mimi nilio mbele yenu naitwa Anjala Anjala George Smio the executive secretary wa chama cha walimu cha NAT hapa Transoya Pengine kabla sijui ni wapi dakika moja tuangalie hiyo chopa kwanza Sawa 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 chopa ishaenda kwa hivyo attention tutarudisha upande huu Ah sisi tumekuja hapa kama chama cha walimu kwa sababu ya mmoja wetu ambaye ni Madam Helen Chirchir ambaye ni mwalimu wetu hapa Transoya Shule ya Kipsoen. Na walimu kutoka Shule ya Kipsoen vile vile wamekuja kuomboleza pamoja na Madam ningependa tu wasimame alafu kisha baada ya hiyo mwalimu mkuu ambaye tuko naye hapa atasema kwa niaba yao. Walimu ndugu zangu wa Kipsoen wako wapi? Kipsoen ah very good walimu wa Kipsoen wako hapa kwa hivyo bwana heti cha Mustafa uh, kuja karibu chonge hapa kwa hivyo familia ya matamu hele watu wa Hindu familia ya Kipsoen chama chetu cha NAT taka tukuchukua furusa hii kwa niaba yangu na kwa niaba ya familia yangu kusema pole Helen ni mwalimu wangu wa Kipsoi uh, nimemaliza huko karibu mwezi moja na bwana secretary huu mwezi moja sichakuwa na experience na kumuelewa sana Helen kwa muda mrefu kuna wale walimu wamekaa naye kwa huu muda wote na hata kuna mwalimu kuu nafikiri mwenye amekuwa naye ndi akanikabidhi yuko pamoja hapa na kuna bia attribute ambaye ndi amekaa naye kwa huo muda mrefu nafikiri wanaweza kucha hapa na waseme neno moja kwa niapa ya familia ya Kipsoin Huyu ndiye alikuwa former head teacher mwenye ameniachia na ndio mwenye amekaa anaweza sema neno kuhusu Madam Helen. Karibu. Mimi siwezi ongea kwa sababu wakati advocate yuko sio vizuri kufanya kielelele ya kuongea mambo mengi. Sasa advocate wako hapa wataongea kwa ni hapa ya walimu Asante. Thank you. The family to Madam Helen poleni sana. On behalf of Kipsoin, we have brought our condolences to this family of uh, Richard Cheruyot Ngeny. Nasema poleni. Asante Mr. Mkua. Asante sana. Kwa hivyo hawa viongozi ambao niko nao ni viongozi wa chama cha walimu. Tunaumbunge hapa wa eneo la Kiminini. Na kwa sababu hapa ni area yake ilikuwa ni bora aje na vile vile jirani tu anatoka hapa utasalimu tu kisha umpashe treasurer ambaye tuko naye uh, kanisa ambalo limesimamia matanga ya mzee marafiki wote ambao wamefika hapa hamjambo hamjambo tena mimi kwanza ningependa kusema pole kwa familia hii mzee sisi tulimtambua tulimjua familia hii ni familia ya marafiki sana kando na kando na baadhi yao kuwa walimu hii familia ni familia ya marafiki na mimi kama mtetezi wa walimu wa Kiminini sub county nitasema mambo mawili chambo la kwanza wasasi mmetoka mbalimbali mahali utarudi enishua unapeleka mtoto shule mzee alipeleka watoto kitu tumesoma. So ukitoka hapa hakikisha umesoma 
chamba fulani akikisha watoto wameenda shule chambo la mwisho kwa sababu familia hii ni marafiki na watoto wetu wanakucha nyumbani kuanzia leo ya kwa after please parents ensure watoto wetu wamelindwa vizuri tuhakikishe wamekaa muto watakuwa nyumbani vizuri na waende shule vizuri mara mingi wale wamesikiliza nikiongea huwa nawaomba principal wangu wote wa eneo langu huwa ya kwamba kama wasasi wachajiweza tuwafumilie watafute na wasasi pia wakati watoto wanakuja nyumbani tutafute kidogo wakati watarudi tuende pamoja familia hii ningependa tukusema endelea kusimama pamoja weldon endelea kulinda familia mungu yuko na all will be well si mungu amani wa bariki sana asante familia kanisa na wana matanga wote bwana yesu asifiwe tunasema pole kwa jamii madam helen pole na your brothers and sisters naomba tu ya kwamba mungu awashikanishe muendelee kufanya kwa pamoja poleni sana naitwa fibi maneno night treasure okay asante sana ndugu zangu mimi mtasimama mta tu hapa nimalize mambo haya nina mambo machache sana najua wananchi wamechoka lakini mtaniruhusu tu kwa sababu nataka kusema neno la muhimu hapa Uh, pengine kabla sijasema yale nilio nayo mimi ningependa kusema pole kwa familia hii. Uh, nimemjua Helen huyu kwa miaka mingi sana. Na kuna wakati alinipata nikiwa na babangu, babangu mzazi. Alikuwa mgonjwa sana, alikuwa mgonjwa wa kansa. Na wakati tuliongea na yeye akaniambia amekuwa akitibu babake ugonjwa wa kansa huo huo a pale kwa dr Kaguri Kitale na akasema ukijaribu hiyo daktari pengine anaweza kumsaidia hakika nilienda pale na akaweza kusaidia ku manage hiyo condition ya mzee babangu kwa muda licha ya kwamba alituacha in 2019 lakini tuliweza kumsaidia sana kupitia kwa daktari yule kwa hivyo mimi nilimjua mzee huyu kama ni mzee aliyekuwa na ugonjwa wa kansa kwa hivyo ile ni aliposema babaka ashaaga nilijua tu ni ile ugonjwa wa kansa ambayo umemondoa lakini baadaye nikasikitika kwamba kumbe alipata ajali barabarani tunasema pole sana Helen data zako na ndugu zako we are very very saddened by this tunasema pole unajua huyu Helen ni mwalimu na walimu ni kio cha jamii tukiwa hapa kila mmoja wenu amepitia katika mikono ya mwalimu kuna wasichana walikuwa hapa moja si Vivian and Caroline na wale waliosoma eulogy ya mzee walisoma in very refined english na hiyo ni kazi ya mwalimu hiyo ni kazi ya mwalimu kwa hivyo zote mali tulipo tunajua mwalimu anafanya kazi nzuri sana mwalimu ni mlezi wa jamii mlezi wa watoto wetu na hata tukiwa pale shuleni sometimes watoto wetu hawa wadogo wanatoa suruari wanasema mwalimu chungia hizi suruari tunaenda kupupu tunachunga hiyo suruari mpaka huyo mtoto anarudi si tunafanya kazi mzuri tunafanya kazi mzuri ndipo kila wakati sisi watu tunasema kwamba mwalimu anaposema jambo nyinyi wananchi inafaa msikize kwa makini sana na msingatie yale ambayo mwalimu anasema kwa sababu yeye ni kio cha jamii tunaelewana vizuri wananchi hivi majuzi tumesikia serikali yetu tukufu ikikata ikiongeza ushuru unajua wakati tumepika kura sisi tulijua sisi watu wa chini mimi na wewe mwananchi tunaenda kuinuliwa from the bottom to the top lakini hatukujua kwamba kumbe hii mshahara yetu ndiye itaenda kuinua wananchi wa chini kwenda juu we really didn't know that we are very sorry tunawaomba msamaha ndugu zangu uh, Unajua unapokata salary ya mfanyikazi 1.5% of the gross salary gross salary atuongee kuhusu net salary gross salary hiyo ni pesa nyingi sana ndugu zangu serikali yetu inatuambia kwamba wanakata mshahara huu ndipo sasa uende wa create jobs nafikiria huo ni uongo wa mchana tulikuwa tukiambiwa kwamba Kenya is as a shortage of fools and indeed it has a shortage of fools kwa sababu unapokata 1.5% na unasema pia mfa, uh, yule mwajiri akate 
what in effect are you telling us unasema kwamba wile mwajiri unampea mzigo mkubwa na anaenda ku retrench wafanyikazi kama unafanyikazi moja utapunguza kwa hamsini. kwa sababu unajua hauna ile 1.5% ya kulipia serikali kwa hivyo what we are doing is actually counterproductive hatutaenda kupata yale matokeo ambayo tunataka kwa sababu tunapunguza tukisema tuna create tunapunguza tukisema tuna create kuna kitu kinaitwa petroleum levy ndugu zangu wananchi the vat on petroleum products raised from 8% to 16% that is abnormally high sisi kutoka hapa sikendu kwenda kitale tunalipa pesa ngapi kwa matatu tunaenda kulipa maradufu na visually everything itaenda juu kwa bei siju hiyo ndio bottom up ambayo tuliambiwa kwamba watu wa chini watendelea kuumia sisi kule juu tukiendea kufaidika kwa sababu petroleum levy kipanda wale watu wanatembea na magari mazito they won't feel anything hawatasikia chochote lakini sisi hapa wa chini ndipo tutaendelea kuumia kwa hivyo ndugu zangu najua hapa kuna watu ambao wako karibu sana serikali yetu ujumbe huu ufike kwamba the people down here at the pyramid are not happy with your leadership kwa hayo mengi Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki ndugu zangu Helen na ndugu zako let us remain strong Mungu atawapa nguvu tunajua huyu baba tulimhitaji lakini ashaenda we cannot do anything now tutakubali kwamba ameenda tumombe Mwenyezi Mungu atupe nguvu tuendelee kulea wale watoto wengine Mungu awabariki sana Asante sana ameongea vizuri lakini hata manyumbani kwetu ndio uweze ku meet needs za familia yako lazima kuwe na pesa lazima serikali ipate pesa ili wahudumie nyinyi ijenge barabara ijenge reli na ifanye mambo yote na kwa hayo yote hebu tusalamiane hewani bwana asifiwe sisi tumekuja hapa kulia mzee ngenyi na usipike kelele kwa mzee ngenyi kwa sababu hatapiga kelele kwa matanga yako bwana asifiwe kama kuna chief kutoka sehemu yoyote ako hapa aje atusalimie chief kaisa kati amekuwa hapa kuna chief ama naibu ya chief ama line yote kwa line yetu ya administration ako hapa na sisi pigia makofi anapokuja asante sana karibu madam kanisa andalizi jamii ya marehemu richard waombolezaji wote ambao wamefika hapa bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe tena mimi ni Christine Malakwen chief Kaisergard location mahali ambapo Helen anafundisha mimi nimekuja hapa kwa niaba ya location ya Kaisergard kutoa rambi rambi zetu kulia pamoja na jamii hii kwa jumla Mambo mengi yamesemwa lakini yangu itakuwa moja. Kwa jamii, mandugu na madada wa Helen. Kuna jambo ambalo linaitwa succession. Mara nyingi tunasema kushtaki kaburi. Kwa wale ambao wanazungumza pale na madam ningewaomba mtupe nafasi ili waweze kutusikiza. Ya kwamba Wakati huu tunawaona watu wengi wamekuja hapa wamekuja kusema pole. Na mimi ninamjua huyu mzee akiwa ni mzee wa mpango, alikuwa amejipanga vizuri. Na lazima kuna kitu kimoja ama mbili ambacho ameacha nyuma. Na jamii hii kubwa ambayo imekuja hapa siku ya leo wamekuja kulia pamoja nanyi lakini kuna succession. Huwa tunasema tunaenda kushtaki kaburi. Wacha ikue siri ya ndani ya nyumba yenu. Ili mtakapofika kwa chief aweze kuwasaidia kwa wepesi. Macho na masikio ambayo yamekuja hapa siku ya leo ni macho na masikio na midomo ambayo itawacheka kesho iwapo mtangangania mali ya mzee. Mtembee polepole pole, muelewane na mjue ya kwamba kile kidogo ambacho kiko ni chenu wote kuanzia firstborn hadi lastborn kwa hivyo mimi nimekuja hapa
kufuatia moyo ya kusema kwamba Mungu yupo pamoja nani atasimama pamoja nani na hiyo pengo ningeomba ndugu mkubwa aweze kusimama kama baba na yule msichana mkubwa aweze kusimama kama mama kwa jamii hii ili wanapokuja hapa wale wadogo wapate joto ya baba na mama mimi sitakuwa na mambo mengi ya kusema ila kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa nafasi ambayo ametupa sisi sote siku ya leo Mungu awafariji sana na nashukuru chief kwa kututambua asante sana asante sana madam Christine kwa kuja kulia pamoja na sisi nashukuru kwa hilo wazo umetoa nafikiria familia wamesikia na watafanya hivyo tuko na two levels of government national government na county government hapa tuko na license officer wa governor wetu bwana Omari kuja usalamie kwa ufupi sana ili tuweze kumsinikiza mzee wetu ya yeah, asante sana chief kanisa takatifu familia waliotoka mbali na wenyeji wa Pukweti na Sihendu bwana asifiwe mimi nasema pole sana familia mzee Richard kwa kumpoteza baba yetu huyu mzee Richard hakuwa tu baba ya hawa ndugu zangu kina Weldon na kina Ali na wasichana but alikuwa baba wa kila mtu mi nakumbuka nikiwa hapa Sihendu Primar uh, miaka ya nyuma hapo mid 90s ilikuwa kikupata kule barabarani umeepa shule kidogo kwa sababu some of us tulikuwa watukutu alikuwa anasimamisha gari hata jashika break ameshuka amekukimbiza kabisa kwa hivyo mi nasema yeye alikuwa baba ya sisi wote mi nakumbuka alinikasa mara mbili tatu hata ilikuwa sitamaliza class 8 but nikangangana nikamaliza kwa sababu tulikuwa tunakuja kwa shamba yake huko kujificha kidogo anakuja anatuchomoa tunarudi classes kwa hivyo sio tu watoto wake peke yake pia sisi alitutunza kwa hivyo poleni sana kwa familia na kanisa na bishop kumpoteza mzee kwa mambo ya county government mumeona gavana natembea amechapa kazi kwa huu muda kidogo hata mwaka ujaisha kwa kila department amefanya kazi that's why mkipita kila mahali mnasikia hapa Kenya wanasema ni governor mchapa kazi. Kwa sasa hivi leo tunaendelea kuna program inaitwa Nawiri ya ku boost wanabiashara. Form ziko tumeweka hapa kwa photocopies hapa sokoni, hapo kwa Sunday stores, hapo kwa Kevin na kule nyuma kwa nani Rufus, mnaweza fika ili mchukue photocopy. Hiyo loan haina interest mingi. Hiyo loan kama ni kikundi interest ni 3% only na kulipa mnasikilizana na ofisi ya trade huko hata mnaweza lipa miaka tatu na tukienda kwa individual interest ni 6% because wewe huko kisolo kwa hivyo tuende tuchukue ili tuweze kujaza pia hiyo ya individual mnasikilizana na ofisi ya trade kama ni miaka mbili tatu alafu mnalipa hiyo pia itawashinda kweli kwa sababu lo, loan ya bank ni 25 to 30% interest hii governor ameleta ni 6% for individual na 3% for group. Kwa hivyo watu wetu wa Sihendu, mungangane msini let down min last one of South Kenya sub county lakini hapa ni nyumbani tuweze kuchukua hizo forms ili tuweze kujaza. Na kwa wale wenye maybe watashinda kuna mali na kusumbua kitoko kujaza, wenye wana namba yango ya simu mnaweza nipigia ama kama hauna unaweza andika mahali ili unipigie na tufanye hiyo connection tuweze kukua ni 0716626680 ukinipigia tutaendelea kwa hivyo poleni sana kwa familia governor ameshikika mahali lakini najua atakuja kufariji asanteni asante sana Lyson ametuambia maneno mazuri mimi naitwa Martin Kitui naibu wa chief wa eneo la Sihendu na hapa mahali tumesimama ni muungano sub location lakini nimekuja hapa juu familia naijua na chief ameenda matangazo mengine kule imani sasa chief pia alikuwa na shughuli kidogo na nikasema nitawakilisha lakini waniambie nikifika hapa niambie jamii pole nitaongea tu jambo moja na kusitiza tu yale mwalimu alisema watoto wamekuja nyumbani half time na hakuna mzazi utakie mtoto wake mambo mabaya 
please usiwache mtoto atembe tembe tu ofyo ofyo jaribu kuchunga pangee kazi kwa sababu hiyo ni investment yako huyu ndiye atakuja kusaidia kesho ama unataka akue nani kesho anza kumpangilia saa hizi ili wasitupatie kazi ngumu sitaki kuongea mambo mengi ni wachoshe na mengi nashukuru wale wote wamefika hapa naombea wageni ambao wametoka sehemu mbalimbali wakitoka hapa wafike vizuri na wakifika vizuri waseme si ni kuzuri sana hapana sema mambo mengine ati parapara siyo kwa namna gani sema tu mambo mazuri peke yake na Mungu ataweza kuwabariki asanteni sana Mungu amani abariki asante sana chief pamoja na my brother Omari asante sana kwa hivyo kabla sijapatia kanisa ili tuweze kumaliza ibada just allow me to recognize a few people ambao waliweza kuingia wakati tulikuwa tunaendelea na ibada tafadhali kwa heshima their colleagues for Karo ambao wamefika tafadhali nitawaomba tu waje waje tu hapa mmoja wao atanena kwa niaba ya wengine kwa ufupi sana colleagues to Karo tafadhali and friends kama wamefika tafadhali let us just come here alafu watafuatwa na colleagues to Emily kama wamefika tafadhali so you have come from far we really appreciate you for coming colleagues to Emily watafuata then there are friends from uh, Jquat penye Judith anafanya pia wameweza kufika tuje tutufuatane hivyo so that we can uh, give our condolences there are friends who have followed Joyce they can also come so that tufuatane hivyo haraka haraka we give our condolence messages i love to tend i know friends to alfred walikuwa hapa wengi twende kwa ufupi tafadhali habari yenu kwa majina naitwa luis gana na mimi naitwa pasis ashas na pamoja tumekuja kutoka kampuni inaitwa firelight foundation pahali caroline anafanya kazi Um, so a short message from the team we have a small but very mighty team that sits across different parts of the world and so they were unable to be here with us but they send their sincere sincere condolences so poleni sana kwenu um, and while we did not get the opportunity to meet mr ngeng um, just by virtue of the kind of colleague that caroline is we feel very honored to have known him through you caroline pole sana we appreciate you we love you um, and we wish you and your family well Asanteni. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tumsifu tena. Uh, I'm Dr. Richard. Um, uh, we are from the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Uh, we work together with uh, Judith and uh, we also bring the condolence messages from the department We're in the Department of Pure and Applied Mathematics. Na tunasema ni pole uh, tuko na familia in the interest of time uh, sitasoma ile barua nilipewa but i will give it uh, to the family thank you poleni sana na mungu azidi kuwabariki thank you thank you for the discipline we shall encourage our students to join your school that discipline is of the highest order ah uh, bwana asifiwe Uh, mimi naitwa Joseph Sitati nikiwa mmoja wao wa rafiki za Ali na nikisema rafiki za Ali si kwamba Ali peke yake familia ya mzee ngeng tumewahi kukuzwa pamoja nikija hapa Sihendu mwaka wa 1975 mimi nimesoma pamoja na Weldon na Joyce na madada hao wengine na nimeona ya kwamba ni vyema ambavyo mzee ameguza hii familia at one time nilikuwa rafiki sana wa mzee na tukawa tuna joke tunapokutana katika pita pita zake kwa mashamba haya ninamwambia mzee unajua uko na shamba yangu mimi ni mtoto wako ananiambia ndio nakujua lakini sijui siku lizaliwa sasa nikijua siku zaliwa nitakupea shamba na kwa hivyo watoto wa mzee ngenyi ninawaambia mimi ni ndugu yenu mnapokaa chini kukawana hizi miandu Mkumbuke mgawane vizuri mkujua wengine pia wako. Sawa sawa. Na mimi nitakula karibu na Weldon na sitaki Mohamed kwa hii boma. Kwa hivyo nawaombea heri iliyo njema mketi pamoja na tuweze kuketi pamoja. Mubarikiwe ni sana. Thank you. Bwana asifiwe. 
kwa majina naitwa Rebecca Kipchumba tumesimama hapa sisi ni marafiki na colleagues wa mstana wa Iboma Emily tumekuja kuleta pole zetu kwa ni hapa ya wenzetu wengine tunasema ni pole ni pole ni pole kupotesha mzee mwenye tunaona bado hata kama mami yaka imeenda tulikuwa tunatarajia aku around afanye mambo mingi lakini ya Mungu hatuwezi uliza in any case tunaambia Mungu atusamee sababu we are questioning his timing but as believers of the word we believe that God's time is the best time so key group kuna watu kutoka Nairobi na kuna wenye wanatoka Chebara wote tumekuja kusema pole na kuwaombea Mungu mweze kuyakubali yenye ametendeka. Asante kwa kazi mzuri yenye tumeona kwa hii boma na tunaona hata kwa mtoto wa hii boma Emily. So atuna tashwisi. We know the family will stand as one and it will continue and it will follow the footsteps ya mzee. Asante ni sana. Asante sana. I think all the colleagues ambao tulikuwa tumepata nafasi wamesha sema natumai hakuna mtu tumefungia nje na kama tulipoanza mwanzo labda tulikuwa zana kwa maneno au kwa sababu ya nyakati naomba tuombane msamaa kwamba jua hii isitue kama bado tuna vikwazo kama labda tulikuwa zana kwa maneno ama labda kwa sababu ya muda nitaomba tusameane ningependa tukumuita Emily to give a vote of thanks alafu tupatie kanisa niweze kuchukua kuanzia pale Emily tafadhali just to move a vote of thanks alafu tupatie kanisa lichukue kuanzia pale Emily please My name naitwa Masika Emmanuel Asanteni sana rafiki wa jamii hii na pia msimamizi wa ratiba katika kaunti ya Transoia Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki sana. Emily tafadhali. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Mtaniruhusu niweze kuongea kwa lugha ya Kiingereza. I wish to thank each and every person who has come for this function today. First I want to thank the church, the church Reverend Andrew Ngeno, Isaac Mtua and all the clergymen thank you for coming to condone with us and to brief with us the entire village the leadership of the area our relatives our friends i wish to thank all of you all your support has come in handy you've been there for us since the time it happened you've talked to us you've communicated to us in many ways you visited our homes to condole with us our relatives from my mom's side our relatives from my dad's side we say thank you we know uncle you are not feeling well but you managed to come auntie edna you are not feeling well but you managed to come auntie grace you are not feeling well but you managed to come we say thank you it is a sign of love for you people to come over and condole with us despite the fact that you are not feeling well and leaving your busy schedules our friends allow me to mention some names regina sururu you've stood with us since it happened to this point you came to our home you are with us lena i won't forget you deno i won't forget you helen's friends chebi what i won't forget you my friends the kipchumbas emma dayo i won't forget you my boss i saw her somewhere teacher priscilla you stood with me thank you vivian's friends seth i want to appreciate you you've been there with us kenya power people you visited us sheila and your sisters you visited us in the house immediately it happened and jeff and your other members that you came with before we left we say thank you. There is nothing much we can do anymore. Dad has rested. Be blessed for your kind words, kind prayers, kind warmth that you've given us, the contributions that have made this day 
a success. Thank you so much, all the visitors. Those who came home to condone with Ali immediately it happened. Uh, well done, and Annette. Those who went to Nakuru to condone with Joyce's children because Joyce came over to Kitale. We say thank you. Be blessed in a big way. Let's rest dad in a good way and we pray that God will guide all of us and give us the comfort that surpasses all. Thank you. Thank you. Let us appreciate her. Asante sana. Asante sana kila moja kwa kuweza kutusikiza tulikuwa wafawidhi na mfawidhi mwenza Julius. Thank you so much for the wonderful job and the good job you have done. Praise and worship. Give us a nice song as I bring the church iweze kuja kuchukua kwanzia pale. Praise the Father Church. Amen. Tunashukuru sana kwa uvumilivu wenu na uongozi wote ambaye imekuwa ikiendelea. Tunasema asante. So kwa nafasi inayofuata tafadhali familia msiende mbali. Tunaomba kanisa likatupee wimbo na tukaweza najua ni ibada ikamilike kulazima kukuwe na sadaka. So ninaomba tafadhali, ninaomba tafadhali eh kwaya kama kwaya tafadhali ama ni wimbo. Haya tafadhali naomba tukasimame katika jina la Yesu Kristo ili tukamtolee Bwana sadaka takatifu ili ibada iwe imekamilika vizuri katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Alafu hivyo hivyo pia Ah, ninaomba tafadhali familia muziondoke. Eh, hey, haleluya. So unaona kuna mahali penye kuna besheni mahali pale, ninaomba tafadhali tukamtolee Bwana. So familia wataanza kuona mwili. Alafu tukitoa sadaka tafadhali. Alafu wapendwa wengine tutafanya hivyo pia. Karibuni katika jina la Yesu.
Saila Saila ya familia tunaendelea kuona mwili uh, familia waweze kurejea hapa karibu tutasimamisha kuona mwili kwanza ili tuweze kuomba kwa ajili ya jamii na baada ya kuona mwili tutaanza kusafiri hadi mahali tutampumzisha So members of the family we can come closer then we can pray together Members wote wa jukuu karibieni karibu wato uh, the, uh, the the children of ngen tuweze kutoka nje ya hema kidogo ili tuweze kuomba pamoja just come closer and all members of the clergy ningetaka tuzunguke familia all members of the clergy tuweze kuzunguka familia so tungeomba tungeomba tafadhali family come together we want to complete tutasalimiana baadaye Members of the family, Njoni Wajuku, can all the grandchildren come here, please? And then the members of the clergy, can we go around them? Wachungaji, tafadhali, let's tuzunguke members of the family. Okay. Shall we have the children, the grandchildren, watoto, grandchildren kujeni mbele because we want to pray. We know it is tough for you now and we want to leave you in the hands of the Lord. Uh, nitaomba Bwana Andrew you can pray for the entire family and then uh, ataombea wajuku then I can pray for the children. So yeah. Na tuombe pamoja. Mwenyezi Mungu ulie juu mbinguni. Bikia wakati huu bwana tunasema asante tunalete family hii the entire family bwana kuombea we Mungu tembea na hawa wengine wametoka mbali wametoka kilicho county pomet hata kupitia counties nyingine hata Nairobi hata Nakuru na Transoya tunalete family hiyo extended family bwana kwa mkono wako walinde usingire na damu ya mwanao Yesu Kristo wakiwa na chambu lolote hata kuhusu family hii bwana utakuwa ukifungua hawa ili wache karibu kulete mashauri na hata pia kuurekebishana hata kuomba msamaha asante Mungu wale wanasabiri kwa magari wale wanasabiri kwa miguu wale wanasabiri hata kwa vyombo magari hata na chombo cha ndege we Mungu waongoze wapike salama salimine nalete hao wote hata wakati baada ya hii hao watakuwa wakifanya shughuli zao watarejea magazini mwao baadaye we Mungu walinde na watunze hata na kiavya Mungu usiwasahau utakuwa karibu na hao Bwana wazazi wameenda lakini we ni Mungu wa, wa, wa wale ambao wamewajwa we Mungu watunze ulinde kiavya asante Bwana kwa maombi haya nalete hao mbele yako katika jina la Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu pamoja na hayo Mungu wetu Baba tasama naleta mbele yako wachukuu wote wa huyu mzee Richard Ngeny Tuko na watukuu fituku kilembwe vilembwekeza na wote Mungu ambaye wako katika sehemu hiyo Bwana Baba naleta mikononi mwako Naomba uweze kuwabariki wabariki mashambani wabariki mjini Bariki hata masomoni na mahali popote watakuwa Bwana. Tunaomba baraka kwa ajili yao ili waweze kuja kuwa vibaraka katika wazazi wao. Asante baba wetu maana utakuwa pamoja na wao. Walinda waondoka hapo, walinda hata waingi hapo. Asante baba kwa sababu utakuwa pamoja na wao. Mungu, tunaamini ya kwamba wewe una mipango mizuri kuhusu hao wajukuu. Sande baba maana tunakabidhi yote haya kwako katika jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu
I left one of the children as I was praying, and I want to also bring him before the Lord. Lord, I pray also for this gentleman, Alfred. I remember that even if we don't mention things by name, we ask for forgiveness even for our own limitations as human beings. I want to commit him before you. You know he is far and in the form of birth, but him and Weldon are the ones we are leaving before you so that they will continue to bring this young, these ladies together. I know he has been in need of you always, and I need to commit him also unto your able hands, so that as he stays together with his brother, that they shall be able to bring this family together. And now as we proceed towards the graveyard to lay this man to rest, be with us now and forevermore.
Det är en ljunga kan man.
nafasi ambayo imebakia akamwambia mwanamke hakika na hakika nitakuzidishia uchungu wako na kuzaa kwako na kwa na, na kwa uchungu utazaa watoto na tamaa yako itakuwa kwa mumeo naye atakutawala akamwambia Adamu kwa kuwa umesikiliza sauti ya mke wako utala matunda ya, mu, ya mti ambacho nali, uh, ukala matunda ya mti nalicho nalio kuagiza usile ardhi malaani wako ajili yako kwa uchungu utakula mazao yake siku zote za maisha yako michongoma na miiba itakuzalia nawe na utakula mboga za kondeni kwa jasho la uso wako utakula chakula hata utakapoirudia ardhi ambayo katika hiyo ulitwaliwa na kwa namna hii kwa maana huu mavumbi nawe mavumbini utarudi it is the tough reality that we have to restrain ourselves and accept the reality that this is God who is saying, we miss that, but let us allow him to go. Please, Tuimbe Wimbo, now Andrew you can pray, and then we sing the song, and then wa Shungaji wa Sa. Welcome Changa, na sisi wengine, tutafuwa Baba katika kina laisu, na basi hii bwana na basi ambao ni ya kipekee tunakuomba huyo Mungu ushuke uwe karibu nazi saisi bwana tunatumia kusindikiza rija watoto wake tukishuhudia huyo Mungu tumisa tunasema asante bwana tukubali kwa sababu umetenda naleta hata watumishi wako ambao wamekuja bwana tushiriki pamoja na hata kanisa lote na hata majirani na hata wageni Asante Bwana tukishuhudia sasa hata tukiweka mchango uwe nazi toka ya mwanzo hata mwisho katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kwa amen tuchungaji tutashika mchanga and then baada ya sisi tutapata heshima a uh, familia leta mchango mwingine kwa hivyo Tunamrudisha huyu mzee Richard Nyenye kwa mavumbi 
katika jina la Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana, na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu wote tuseme
Mwenyezi Mungu ikisha na mimi kiokoka na kumfaku tokuharibika Nitamsiwa mbozi ni kapo mboni atakuwa wa kwanza kunilaki
As we sing, well done should be the first one. A four to a Joyce. Thank you. 
Excuse me, Chukua, you will be taking a photo as you are laying the the bed. You can you can just hold the then Yeah, just put it. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Other family members, we want to do a prayer before we depart for the family. Usibaki na maua tunataka kufunga. Ikiwa una maua tunataka kufunga. And we thank God for holding the reins for us. Yaweka tu. Kusibaki na maua tafadhali peana hiyo maua yote ikuja iwekwe. Just give out all the flowers. Thank you so much. Na all the families you are still going to tell family members mtachukua uh, picha hapa karibu when you are settled. The sons and daughters tafadhali turejee tu hapa kwa haraka ili tumalize sote tafadhali. The sons okay. and daughters tafadhali The sons and daughters turejee hapa tu. Okay and on behalf of AIC Church tunataka kuwashukuru sana kwa yale yote ambayo tumefanya. Na kama hivyo taratibu yetu hii ndio ibada ya mwisho katika kaburi we don't come again to the graveyard and we want to thank you for all the cooperation na tuendelee kukumbuka familia tuendelee kuwaweka kwa maombi na tunawashukuru sana kwa sababu ya kusimama na jambo hili na bwana ataendelea kuwabariki so tunataka kuuliza uh, mchungaji reverend uh, eh, mwanga aweze kutupeleka aweze kufunga mkutano aombe safari zetu zote na azidi kuombea familia Mungu anapoishikilia. Kumbe baba wetu wa mbinguni baba tunasema asante wakati huu. Tunasema Mungu tulipokuuliza katika safari ya huyu mzee ujange baba wewe umeonekana. Tunasema Mungu umetuongoza hadi tamati Mungu wetu. Tunakushukuru baba wetu. 